Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. We have two new, brand new Atari games today mm -hmm. for the Atari Jaguar. Yay! Yay! From Reboot Games, our friends at Reboot Games. Nice. Uh, who's in the chat? Yay, Cyrano! Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Um, and it's also uh, somebody's birthday. Is it somebody's so, well, it's not mine. Birthday. And it's not Atari's yeah, birthday. It might be my birthday. It's Tanya's birthday. Yay. And we have a present over here, but you do. You don't get to open it yet. I know he hasn't let me open my presents. So. No, not yet. <laughs> Not till the end of the news. Oh my goodness, you're going to make me wait through the news. Yes, I know, it's torturous. <laughs> Just like everybody waits through the news for the games. That's true. Uh, but first, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Uh, and, you, and you're like uh, mid-30s now, I think? Yeah, something like that, yes. Around yeah, there. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 8-Bit Poet, Al Nefer, Andre, Atari, I'm Scar Coder, Atari, Denner, Dex, All Rules, Atari, Nate 74, Atari, HP, Pro Cup, Bruno Stacks, Captain Classic, Charles Steinmal, Charles Whelan, Chitla, Cubanismo, Sierra, Reboot, Day, Annoy, Dynasty, Dave, M, A, Z. <laughs> Drex, Aldock, Moo, Cow, Zianchowitz, Gamma, Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, H.O.J., uh, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny W.C., Computer Coder, Carl G., Karakak, Krakatoni, 600, Developed for Lambda Express, Mad Max, Mandy Sipping, T. Mark, Yannis, Mike Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick, Ms. Mike Soul, Mike Tell, Ms. Nova, Ms. Command, M.K. Swift, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Neomina, Nostalgic, Pseudographics, Koala, Grand Chowitz, Reddard, Gozer, uh, Repentless, VG, Revan, Tuli, Ricardo, Pim, Six, Sweets, Smitty, B, Spice, Rare, Spinley, 1970, Bad Cats. You don't subscribe. <laughs> uh, S. Ramirez, the D Train, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Tweeny, Vexor X, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoko, VG Double Down, X, Ken X, and Zombie Alice. Hey, 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 bad cat. He says, uh, Where's my present? Where's my present? <laughs> it's coming. Uh, if you want to support the show, just subscribe and you can uh, support this bad cat. <laughs> Naughty. Uh, thank uh, you, everyone, for the birthday wishes. Oh, yeah. yeah. A funny story and the weather? Yeah. No, I have to wait through the news, a funny story and the weather before oh, I get my present. sure. <laughs> okay. We have to... <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. We can use broadcast. Yay! Catnip for oh, kitties! you do get... Cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats, cats. You do get a present. He's like, uh, is that for me? Yeah, that's for you. It is. Yeah. There you go. You want some catnip? Catnip! So, there is... Um, a new ZPH shirt, as you can see right here. Nice. Um, just put into the store uh, recently. Um, if you wanna, if you like it, um, you can head over to the uh, ZPH T-shirt and etc. store. It's ZPH running really fast. Yeah, it's, really it's, fast. it's at an angle. It's got a rainbow <laughs> speed thing behind it. Very nice. So thank you, Gamma Dev, for um, giving a kitty the treat. Yeah, he's chowing down on his catnip. We'll there flip back is. to him. Oh, there we go. Yep. And I posted the link to the shirt. Nice. Rating Rivers logo with the wrong letters. Yeah, <laughs> there, there you go. go. Yep. yep. Um, it's the colors that I use for the um the background. background it's activision-esque it's it's represents you know the multiple multiple colors of the atari system especially go. atari 2600 has 128 colors um there you go uh zph angled rainbow t-shirt nice very nice uh zph logo races forward in a streak of color <laughs> celebrate your love for the homebrew gaming show z zero page homebrew with people in the know because <laughs> all it says is zph so <laughs> if you know you know mm -hmm. activision stripes because they don't sue like atari there you let's go. let yeah it doesn't say atari anywhere on here <laughs> doesn't have atari logo so i should be safe we'll see we'll see we'll flip back to the cat for a second huh? um oh we have mail okay can't trademark color complex. I don't you, think you've got. Have, did you go through the subscribers? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I missed you're that. You're so somehow. enthralled with your birthday wishes. I am. Um, but you didn't <laughs> I even missed hear it. it. Yep. Um, you can call, you can yep. patent colors, which I find abhorrent. Yeah. But you can't copyright. Uh, you probably can. Yeah. You probably can. There's a ter It's terrible. It's terrible. Let's open this <laughs> up see what it is i think i know what it just is don't use fanta black yeah don't use fanta black actually everybody in the world's allowed to use fanta uh, that black color yeah is that what, it's fanta? Van vanta black vanta except yeah. one person 
Really? I can't remember who that person what? is. What? Yeah, it's a good story. Look it up. Yeah. It's it's quite funny, actually. Everybody's allowed to use it except one person in the world. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take a look. Oh, actually, this is the right, the right screen to do that. Okay, let's look what this is. So I'm going to block you out, Kat. UPS Brown, Coca-Cola Red. Yeah. I think it has to be in conjunction with something The else. logo or something, probably. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Where did this come from? It came from Brazil. Ooh, that's exciting. I think I know what it is. Let's see. It's flipping. Yay. Ooh, believe, look at that cover. I believed we premiered on the show. At Very least played nice. on the show. So let's open it up. 48, oh, 4K, not 48K. Flip it. One or two players. Atari 2600 cartridge. Oh, don't down a bit. Uh, red button games. Oh, number three. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That's a low number. Very nice. Collect Good to have a low it's number. Got a sticker on it. I'm going to have to open it up, though. It's got a red button no! sticker. Unsealed. <laughs> oh, no. The value what just did went you do? Way down. <laughs> oh, look at that. Very nice. Oh, that is so nice. Look at, oh, that's so beautiful. The cover looks lovely. Yeah, really nice cover. Mm. So let's open it up. It's the other way around. One person is allowed to use Vanta Black, so there's another blacker black that everyone can use except the one guy who uses Vanta Black. Oh, that's right. So somebody copyrighted Vanta Black, so nobody could use it. And, and then someone, someone made a blacker black? Is yes. that the idea? There, number three. <laughs> BBG double dead. Now it's only worth 50%. Now even less. <laughs> now even less. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I love the artwork. Yeah, very cute artwork. Oh, Reminds my goodness. Of, um, Baby Yoda. Baby. <laughs> We've been watching The Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. we're a little we're, we're a little behind in that game, but... Uh, Show. Uh, well, no, I mean, the, in general. In the game of playing... Of watching, watching. watching Star Wars. Um but yeah, so we've been watching a lot of Baby Baby Yoda. Yeah. It's not so bad. cute. It's pretty good. It's a, so far, it's a Planet of the Week show, but uh, at least the planets are interesting. There we go. There's the manual. <laughs> Very nice manual. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah. So that's at uh, our friends at Red Button Games. Uh, Leonardo Santiago sent that to me. Yeah. Flip it's other games they've made. Cajo Chases the Cheese, <laughs> Razor's Edge, and Unholy all abs Baby Oda's name. Yeah, but not in we haven't gotten to the name yet in the it's in the just series. A baby so it's just right a baby. Now. It's just the child for the moment. So yeah, it's we're in, very uh, early days. <laughs> it's in English and uh Portuguese. So if you uh speak speak Portuguese or English, you're good to go. Yeah. If you're watching this, you probably speak English. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we speak on the show. But you could be, you could speak Portuguese. Uh, with some training, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, people are asking for the rolly ball, the treat ball, to be a, an icon. <gasps> so I made, oh, nice. I made it roll. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's that's excellent. switch back. Oh, that's so that funny. The cat's hat is. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Crypto Thank Coffee. Thank you for the cheers. So we have adjusted the bell game, speaking of Atari, uh, for tonight. Um, so we think it might be in decent shape. Uh, we'll see when somebody triggers it. Um, it's how many times Atari can ring the bell in a minute. And we've got categories of one to five, then six, then seven, then eight, and then nine plus. And that should be decent. Okay. We're going to try it out, and we might have to adjust it up or down okay. or group things. What yep. was the time period you said again? One minute. One minute. So he just yes. gets as many as he can in one minute. Many as he can. Okay. Get okay. into his, his yummy, yummy nice. mouth. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> um, oh, Mark Hanna sent me something the other day. I think people will like oh, it. Oh, funny. Um, I thought it was great. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, do that. Um, and he said, uh, you can get this license plate when you go to your next goth concert. 
stuff. And uh, this is from Queensland. Queensland, Sunshine State. Um, wow. Six 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 ZP. Very nice. <laughs> so good spotting of that, Marco J. Yeah. yeah. Can you have awesome. a three letter license plate? Is that too few nope. letters? Nope. You can. You could have ZPH. I don't know if there's a minimum. I always thought there was. I don't know. I I did have one for a number of years. A, a personalized license plate. Yeah. Um, it was. How many letters? Because you can have up to seven. So mine was seven. Up to seven back then, yeah. Yeah, and it's still seven here because ours are six and plus a space. A space, okay. Uh, I know in Ontario they Interesting. are seven, completely total, right? Plus a space? No, no space. I don't seven. think it's all just one long. Thing. Anyway, devil, devil car, car, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was awesome. Uh, great. Yeah. Depending Four on the state. Three to seven organs. Yeah, I think it so does. It might be minimum they probably three. make they probably make rules on the minimum, but yeah. three would be cool, but I don't think I've ever seen a three in Canada at least. That oh, just seems like too few letters. Three. It just seems like too few. Yeah. I don't know. My anyway, number hmm. went from Ray Tui to Ray Toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so here's the page for ordering that game. Hmm? Flip it. Of course I showed you live. But here's all the pictures. It's a fun, uh, fun um, spotting game. Like yeah. you find the f the flip it that's flipped, and there's time limits. And uh, yeah, we played it on the show. Um, so twenty challenging levels for one or two players. Ten types of flip it's fun at just four k. So they make uh, really fun games at Red Button Games, and a great name for a company too. Red Button Games. Yeah. So good. And the logo. Oh my God, I love. I love the, the logo. logo. It's so simple, and yeah. you know exactly what it's in reference yeah. to. Five, six squares, and one of them's red. I know. Oh, yeah, it's so fantastic. <laughs> um, so there was a post by Batari uh, the other day on Friday. Uh, it says, "Do you miss Dip Switch multi carts?" And it's titled "Harmony Dip Switch Game Selector." Oh. Some thought they were pain, but some say they had charm. If you want to experience once again, and you have an SD card version of Harmony, you can relive the experience with this device. This really? inserts into the SD card slot of your Harmony. Your SD slot uh, card then plugs into this device. Uh, okay. uh, you create your own multi cart with files in the SD, and they can be run automatically by what? switch selection instead of navigating a menu. You're like, why? Why why would you want to navigate? So there it is. Okay. And the switch they it has switches on it? Yeah, so your SD card goes in it. Yes. And then it goes into the harmony card like it is an SD card. Okay. And these dip switches oh, select they're... which uh, binary that's on the SD card okay. that it's going to load. And okay. it, there's no menu, it just loads it automatically. So you get eight? Is that 256. Eight? What? Oh, because they're in different on off oh, sorry. positions? 100, 100, 100. 100 games. Um, da, da, da. Oh, 255. This... 210 position. Okay. Yeah. The okay. games that can use whatever mapper you want, and there's some flexibility wow. in the file name, so the card will still be usable in multi card mode on a real 2600. Ah. There's another version that uses a 210 position rotary wheels <laughs> instead of the 8 position dip switch. This supports 100 games. <laughs> so that might be easier. Then dip switches because you do the tens and then you do the ones and you can just rotate them. <laughs> Gamma Dev says, sorry, but dip switches were never, never charming. charming you know. Like how Batman declared about the Joker, some clowns are never funny. Yeah. Still in development, but as this device is designed to be simple and economical, it won't yeah. be very expensive. Well, that's good. That's nice. Now, what this is actually for, yeah. uh, I think specifically, I mean, he just mentions it offhand, but it's definitely for this. It's for the 2600 plus. Okay. Because you can use the Harmony cart in the 2600 plus, but you have to flash it with one game. Oh. So what this does is, is it so let, let's do, let oh. you load one game on the Harmony cart, but you can load the SD card with a 255 games. Wow. Okay. So this kind of automates that process. So you so don't have you to can... flash your cart. So you, instead of just having to redo with a single game every time, every time, you can just have a whole bunch of games and you just flip the dip switches and put it in. Yeah. Okay, it's, that is cool. That is that does that. Yeah. Solves it, a problem. It solves, solves an issue. A, yeah. Solves an issue that the twenty six hundred plus created. Yes. But the ingenious minds at the Atari Age forums, specifically oh, Fred, cool. uh, came course. up with this. It's yeah. not available yet. Still, that's but very cool. Obviously, he's done a. Um, 
prototype of it and looks like it's ready. I guess it's mass market. Yeah. Maybe it'll be ready for PRG. I cool. don't know. Cool, cool. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, now you just need to memorize or keep a list of the yeah. numbers. Yes, yeah, so you have to have a chart yeah. beside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your little notepad. <laughs> Why not okay. add two buttons and type them in using binary? Well, that would have, yeah, you could add a little readout and yeah. then have bu buttons. Yeah. Um, it would probably be a little more expensive. And I think he was trying to cost cut on this to keep it down because $15. I can see that. That's pretty cheap and it's, it's simple, right? Pretty it's cheap simple. for this. Yeah. Are you done with your, are you done? Are you done? Says, I'm all done. I'm all done. Uh, next news item, Champ Games is low run, running low in games. What? People are buying too many. Oh, no. Um, so Champ uh, posted this yesterday. Since we've had a few questions regarding the availability of certain games, we wanted to post a quick update. For those of you looking to order Galagon box cartridge from our store, it's currently out of stock. So Galagon is very popular. Yeah. And all of our other games are running low as well. Wow. We plan, a, plan on restocking all the games in August. So if you want the games that are available, you need to buy them now before they're gone. Uh, when we print up box labels, manuals, posters for our next release, Tutankham Arcade. Mm. So it's going to do a whole new run. Also for PRGE as well, mm. obviously. Because um, they'll have a booth again and be selling the games again. Additionally, we'll be adding some previously released games from other developers to our store, which they did with um, John did announce when he was last on the show. Uh, Ruby Q by Silvio Magno. Excellent. But who is the other developer? Ooh. Mm, I wonder. That's exciting. He's running low, so he created a sales rush, so they'll run low even quicker. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Lastly, we'll be adding additional purchase <clears throat> options to our games, including no box, no poster option, cart and manual only for a discounted price. Nice. So we have a lot of options. He sells ROMs, sells the boxed, he sells... Mm. Now it's going to be just the cart and the manual, so lots of options. Anyway, thanks for the support and links to the Tutankham Arcade. I don't know if this needs a link, but there's a there you go. terrible Facebook, long Facebook link for you. <laughs> Um, then... Warning. Warning. <gasps> the treat ball is loose. The treat ball is loose. It's treat ball time. Do you want to grab the box? Yes, I'll grab the box. It's too... Spoiled kitty. Thank you to Crypto Coffee. I did uh, bring down the cost on all the treats for the kittens. Yes. So it makes it more affordable. Oh, for people to... I know we're we're in a bit Unleashed of a the recession. That, there it's, it's you tough go. Times. Yes, it is tough times. It doesn't matter for that. You don't have to pay for those. <laughs> it's all you free. just need to oh, watch. Close it up a bit before you do that. Oh, or they'll pour, yeah, pour out the bottom. Thank you, Crypto Coffee. Uh, Jagfest in Rochester, uh, Minnesota, is coming up. It seems like a little too much. Um, this is organized by Songbird Productions. There are 100 tickets. I don't know how many are left. Um, they're celebrating 25 years of running it. Uh, of course, they did it 25 years ago and the second one's this year. So 25 years of running it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it sounds like a fun time. Lots of um, Jaguar games there. He'll be selling Songbird Jaguar games. Uh, oh, you want to unleash it? Yeah. Well, Sorry. you finish what you're oh, okay. what you're saying first, and we will unleash well, I have the a monster more, cougar. And yes. And then we can do it. Okay. How about that? Okay. Um, yeah. Twenty five years ago, aspiring oh, as a hobby developer, Carl Foran launched Songbird Productions, and he just posted about it. I think today, an hour ago. <laughs> uh, Ten days until Jagfest, so it's coming up very shortly. That is There'll short. be three limited run games released at this show. Plus demos of unreleased and upcoming games. Who's excited? After the show, super fans will get first crack at the limited games, followed by fans, super fans, and then the public. <laughs> so what three are the games? Three tiers. There's three tiers here. Oh, yes. Cool. It's cast system at this Jag Fest. <laughs> um, and also E Jag Fest is coming up. Oh, e. The European Jag Fest 2024, Ooh. and um, that is in Korsenbroich. Germany. We celebrated the 35th anniversary of the Atari Lynx this year, which is, was released in 1989. Mm -hmm. uh, Non-commercial <laughs> festival established in the year 2000. So it's the 24th anniversary of it. Mm. Uh, uh, 
any of those you want to play again in the retro consoles or trusty home oh, computers 70s cat. 80s 90s 21st anniversary <laughs> uh so there you go if you're in germany and uh Cyrano J is working on Jagfest AU. Ooh. Ooh, there's an excuse to go to Australia. I know, there we go. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to find an excuse to go to Australia. That's yeah. right. Okay, so let's unleash the tree. Unleash, oh. unleash the cat. Are go you ready? It. Ready? Go, go for, for it. it. Get those treats. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, he's got his first treat. Yep. <laughs> Not limited games. F those guys. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten every single game I ever ordered from limited run games. So people people complain constantly about limited run really? games. Really? For what what reason? Uh, that, are they exploiting people? Is that what they're worried about? Or um, the like major, the developers? The major. I, I haven't heard that, but. Um, or they're just. They're used to Amazon. They're used to getting their games tomorrow. Oh. But also. They order games, and it takes sometimes six months That's to get it, time, which is a long time. Yeah, that but they is. they are pre-orders. Yeah. But sometimes, in the meantime, somebody else releases it through oh, some other means, and people are like, good. ah, yeah. CDR? What? Okay, that's unacceptable. Okay, that's not good. No. That's really, really bad. CDR. Especially if they didn't say that they are shipping a CDR. Pretty sure I could burn you a CDR. Of yeah. <laughs> that's not special. <laughs> yeah. That's not special at all. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe somewhere, somewhere in the back uh, in the back, James has a, a CD burner. I'm sure. Oh, well, multiple CD burners. <laughs> there, yeah, see, yeah. there we go. <laughs> you always have to have two. Two is one, and one is none. <laughs> okay, here's your gift. Here's your Ooh. present. Is it heavy? Oh, it is it's heavy. It's not light. It's uh, it's a gift. It's a uh, um. Oh, it's well packaged. It's, it's a present even... from not only me. Okay. It says open June 18th. I saw that. Um, it's a present from uh, Double Down. Oh. And myself. Oh, thank you, Double Down. There he oh. is. Pretty wrapping paper. Oh, I yeah. know. <laughs> it's um, all my gifts come wrapped like recyclable. this. It's recyclable. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. recyclable paper. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's um, I think something you like and something you don't know you want but i think you want it <laughs> okay i think you do want I'm it excited there's nothing like an unwrapping oh my goodness there's a lot of tape okay <clears throat> so far i see some bubble wrap there you go oh that's the best present bubble wrap oh oh i see foam but something's sticking out of the foam oh. what could it be what is it oh my goodness look at this <gasps> oh my goodness what is that it is a beautiful controller i'll pass that off oh let's find out what kind of controller okay. it is okay is it a four-way controller what by any uh, any chance how would you guess that i don't know maybe my complaints on the eight-way <laughs> controllers i'm always forced to use oh, I'm excited. make sure it isn't ticking <laughs> <laughs> better not be Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. How did he pack it in here? I don't know how he packed it in there. Might have to rip it. How did you get this in here? There we go. He assembled it with the packaging on. Yeah, that's right. So, show it to everyone. Just hold oh, it up. It's, it's so big pretty. enough. Look at that. <gasps> Gorgeous. It's a nice size, too. I like that. That's really solid. Yeah, we went back and forth a lot on the size. Did you? Yeah. I think size is good for and the stability. Button, and the colors and the design. But it's not and too big either. I would say it's, <gasps> it's so uh, pretty. 99% double down and 1% me. Okay, fair but enough. But a lot of consultation, a lot of back and forth. Thank you, tall down. Oh, look at that. So this. Look at the screen, the rainbow, the rainbow brick. Yeah. How this nice is, is that? That a, is that is to play Doom. <laughs> up. Oh, up, up, up. There we uh, go. This is a true four-way joystick. <gasps> nice. So it has to disconnect from a direction to connect to another direction. Oh. It will never press two directions at the same time. Nice. I like that. And it's a 7800 slash 2600 That makes controller. sense. Controller. <gasps> yep. So it works with the 7800, Ooh. 2600, Atari 8-bit. Nice. Um, double down can uh, fill... Perfect for Qbert. It's what she's wanted to play for a long time is Qbert. Thank you. No, that would be a 45 degree uh, angle. Awesome. 
Oh, for Kubert, you'd have to go like this. That's <laughs> yes. And uh, oh. it comes with a nice instruction manual, uh, customized instruction manual, ZPH edition VVG joystick controller. Oh, nice. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Uh, pretty, pretty generic. Yeah. It's <laughs> nice though, but look at the design of it. It it really looks like it was printed on a dot matrix printer. I love it. Oh, that. it's it's and, but it's, it's nice and, and yeah, I, I Serial love the number design. one. Uh -huh. Yeah, I went anti slip cheapy. rubber back. Yeah, that is actually really good. Yeah, because that was for you. it's got well, yeah, because it has the the little feet. Yeah. But if you're putting it on a pillow, it slides around. But now extra, it doesn't because it's got the rubber back. Extra slip very control. Very thoughtful. That's very thoughtful. Yeah. Oh, I like it, and my hands sit on it. The size is perfect. Excellent. Because I because otherwise your hand falls falls off the edge of the joystick. But this yep. one it's right there. It sits on my pillow perfectly. Yeah, it's weighted as well. Nice. Give it a bit of weight. Oh, thank you. Thank you That's so awesome. much. Double down. There's lots of discussion of your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so to that break it in, important. we're going to play Ms. Pac-Man Speedy Edition. Yay! <laughs> Bring on so, Miss Pac-Man. Did he get all his treats? He did. He, I think so. Yep. Yep. Got all his treats. All done. He cleaned it up nicely. Okay, so. That's so pretty. Let's load this up. I love it's ZPH at the at the um, end of the, the hallway. That's so cute. Yeah. Very nice design. so nice okay i think that's all the things yes that's all the things and my present okay oh. nice present no more complaining <laughs> i never said that <laughs> not about the joystick though so let's see oh. mm. vvg hopefully it works it'll work so far so have far. we ever had one of his joysticks not work I don't think uh, so. No, no, they're all good. So let's do uh, Pac-Man Collection Pokey Edition or 40th Anniversary. We'll do the Pokey Edition for... No, no, pal! <laughs> that wasn't a joystick issue, that was a James issue. Yes, so. it was the wrong thing <laughs> I'd blame shipping if it doesn't work <laughs> nice nice there we go blinky, blinky pinky inky Clyde oh oh is this just pac-man is it or was there options I didn't even look I just hit the button okay Sometimes you just want to play Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to do Miss Pac-Man. Okay. okay. I have lime shipping if it doesn't work. Yeah. What is up with these? Every lights? time, every time it dips down after Ugh. a bit. Uh, Your game is not couch compliant. You have 20 no, seconds to comply. Oh. oh, we'll just do the 40th anniversary. This is the sh yeah. We'll do the short maze version. Sharp. This has Yamaha sound anyway. Players one, Miss Pac-Man, speed. Or you can mm -hmm. pick another one. Miss Pac-Man. Fast Start. speed. Oh, quiet. Working so far? Watch out. Ah. Ah, ah. Sometimes it's too fast. <laughs> yeah, fast is very fast. Hard to control. Trying to go up now. 
Ah, oh, you gotta love this pattern. It's a classic. In almost every arcade we go to, it's always set for speeding. Go down! Go down! Ah! It's very fast. <laughs> Diagonal should be useful here. <laughs> she does not like diagonals. Depends oh, the on the game. Feel is but so different, isn't it? It's like solid. It is solid. It's like so chunky solid. <laughs> oh, it feels good. It it feels like a four-way joystick, which it is. But I mean, ooh, oh, that was very, very close. close. It's a good thing you're fast. That is a fast Miss Pac-Man. Yep. It's 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 solid, but not restrictive. Uh, as I, as much as I thought it would be, like oh, you have to like move around the four-way. But uh, no, it feels like an eight-way joystick, just more solid. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Yeah. Feels really nice. I mean, I like diagonals in this. But this is completely for Tanya, this joystick, because she has challenges, let's say, <laughs> with eight-way joysticks on four-way games. I'm not games. always precise enough with the eight ways, I find. Yeah, and she press, presses the wrong... If she's pressing to the right, sometimes it's up to the right and down to the right and when it should be just right. And it uh, gives unforeseen consequences. But, obviously, this joystick does not work with games you need to do 8-way, but we have plenty of 8-way joysticks, so that's not an issue. Oh, they all spread out. They're like, we're out of here! Oh, oh, ah! Get under! We'll go on to the actual show after this. Yeah. <laughs> after Tanya uses up all her lives. Just testing out the joystick. After Tanya finishes one game. Yeah. Hey. Bad cat. Hey. Hey, naughty cat. He acts like it's an injustice. It is I an injustice. Prevent him from doing naughty things. Like, eh, don't. <laughs> it's like a bratty little kid. He is a bratty little kid. Are you a bratty little kid? He is. He knows it. Are you basking in the glow of the rainbow? <gasps> Double oh, Down crystal. says, yeah, um, yummy. It's a Western joystick versus Japanese joystick. Shorter overthrows. It is. It does have a very short throw. Um, it's a clover restrictor, but due to the fat, fatter actuator, you don't have to let it move back to the center to get to another direction. That's what I was expecting, is that you have to go to the center to go back, ah! and you don't, which is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So you don't have to go center down. You to just go, from go right. you in just, the direction you want to go. Yeah. And it lets go of that direction you previously were and goes to the direction you want to go. So it feels like an eight-way joystick with the benefit of a four-way joystick. Mm. Best of all worlds. Mm -hmm. uh, Chitlala says, our cat yeah. likes to slap stuff off the table, then look at my wife like, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, that is, That's that is a, cat. a cat. That's a cat. Okay. And Double Down says, one of my favorite joysticks ordered all the way from Spain. Wow. Went from Spain to Double Down to here. <clears throat> so, hugely, hugely appreciated, Double Down. Now I don't have to hear... It's, it's, a, it's a joystick. What's wrong with a joystick? <laughs> no, go, I don't know. It's your joystick. <laughs> it's your hands it's, on the joystick. It's your four-way specially made joystick. <laughs> I could just play this all day. <laughs> and the true motive is revealed. Yep. 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 Well, and it makes her happy too. That's right. <laughs> He'll say it's because he doesn't want to hear me complain, but I'll still complain. Like, let's yeah, face it, there's always something. Be, it's just one less thing to complain about. Oh, missed all the ghosts successfully. I, know. I don't care. <laughs> At some point, it's like less about the ghosts. Ah! Of course, we're playing uh, Pac-Man Pluses. Ooh, two there. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? He ate the one underneath first. <gasps> ah! uh, Pac-Man Pluses 40th Anniversary uh, Edition. 
of Pac-Man collection. <laughs> Don't make me get the four-way joystick. Don't make me get the four-way joystick. <laughs> well, now if it's a game that is truly four-way and there's no use for diagonals, then when then we can play with this joystick. Oh, there's not much time now with those ghosts. more life left. There are so many classic games in need of four-way. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, and Junior, Frogger, and so on. Yeah, there's a lot of classic games, classic arcade games that use four-way joysticks, so mm. it'll be very, very useful. It's always amazing for the classic ones, for sure. Yeah. And just any modern game that only uses four ways as well. That'll be a huge... Oh, might get three. No. No? Oh, oh no, have. I'm not gonna die. You could no. have. <laughs> I'm not interested in... <laughs> Pack. Premature packing. No, nobody wants that. Ah. Except for the ghosts. That is their raison d'etre. And done another one. Cubert. Yeah, Cubert, it would be very, very, very useful for. Oh, I am. Do accidental jumps. I am fully aware that all the points are in the ghosts. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's just very hard on these levels to get any. You have to know all the secrets of lining up all the ghosts and getting them chase you in this <laughs> perfect spot. But we are not Pac-Man experts. Where you can get every single ghost on every... <laughs> si oh, you oh, could have almost. evaded it. Yeah. Almost. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Last one. No. Nope. Uh, this so is hard. the last one. one. One in reserve. So it does uh, the extra lives properly. Because if there is a Pac-Man on the board, that means you literally have... Oh, oh did you make it? You did! Oh, that was very close. Oh, my goodness. Very close. Oh. Little bit. This is my favorite. Super speed... And there we go. <laughs> Dead immediately. That's Super it. speedy Miss Pac-Man is the best Pac-Man. So, now we're going to put it away. Thank you, Bob Dick Crescenza. Awesome game. Thank you, uh, Double Down. Thank you so oh, much. My goodness. Amazing gift from Double Down because we're going to switch over to the Jaguar, which is the actual system we're playing today. Oh. Yeah, playing the Jaguar today, so we needed to get at least something off of the 26 or 7800. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, let's get the away. Thank you. Enough of that. He's he weighed them so fast. He's a hungry cat. He does like the treat ball. He is a big treat ball fan. I think. There we go. Excellent. Oh, is it warm in here or is it me? <laughs> It's warming up in North America. It is. I hope everyone out there is keeping cool. Here it's pretty hot in certain parts of the country in Oof, North yeah. America. So. Oh yeah, heat domes tomorrow. Mm. At least in Canada. Yeah, especially out east. Okay, Good. <clears throat> okay. so. Um, First game we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play two similar games today. And um, they're Tenebra, and they were converted over from Atari ST versions okay. by Cyrano J of Reboot. Nice. Um, and let's just take a quick look at what they're all about. Oh, and before we do that, Lawrence posted oh. today, Caravan Mode coming to Biop. Mm -hmm. So he's made a number of Caravan games, which is modes for games for competition. Oh, okay. So they're time limited. And you just do a level and then it moves to the next one kind of thing? or It's just... It, it plays normally, but there's a time limit. Oh, okay. So the limit's the time, not how yeah, far you so get. So that in competition... 
It's like, how many points can you get in, in a certain time. amount of time? And, cool. and he's brought them to PRG, so I'm guessing Biopede might make an appearance at oh, uh, nice. the Caravan Edition at this oh, upcoming okay. uh, PRGE. He can verify nice. in the chat when uh, he's he was in the chat. He may be in and out. <laughs> um, and you're able to get the games we're going to be playing today early... Because he also releases games early. Oh, nice! For Patreon subscribers, at the fourteen fifty uh, level, I believe. Yes. So you get games, demos, <laughs> and other goodies on your Jaguar, and he is very quick at releasing games. So you, you get a lot of stuff for that. And uh, he announced this Thursday, Tenebra and Tenebra Two. Mm -hmm. It says, first on the Atari 8-bit, then on the ST, and many other machines. Uh, clarified, what did I What did I say? Oh, um, are you planning on bringing Biopede Caravan Edition to PRG? uh, PRGE this Ooh. year? Um, and now available for Atari Jaguar. Work in progress builds are ver currently available to my Patreon supporters to download and test. The final builds, once complete, will be released to the public for free and be available, available from Haplo's itch.io page directly. Mm. Again, many, many thanks to Haplo for allowing me to bring these games over to the Jaguar. And I, I, we, I want to say that we premiered the Atari 8-bit versions on the show, but I'm not sure. Uh, uh. Oh, and Biopede is currently available for Patreon supporters to order as a physical copy. Nice. I'll put a digital download up shortly. So we will be playing the Jaguar versions of this, and we'll be continuing on where we left off in the Atari 8-bit versions. Mm. Um, there's because there's a code for every level. The codes are, for some reason, <laughs> different for the Atari ST Jaguar versions than they are for the Atari 8-bit versions. But uh, Cyrano J has thankfully supplied the codes, so we can continue on playing them on the Jaguar versions where we left mm. off, which is very, very nice of very him nice. to do. Um, let's see if I have any other notes here about this. Um, and I will look up- Cheaters, one. says PBG. <laughs> Not cheaters. We earned our levels. <laughs> we made it to these levels. Not on this system, but we made, we did solve all those puzzles. So I, I don't know about uh, I don't know about that cheating uh, <laughs> claim there. Let's let's see. When did we last play this? It was we played Tenebra two November twenty eighth, uh, and Tenebra one on September twelfth, twenty twenty three. Okay, twenty twenty three. Um, yeah, so both last year, about six six months ago, hmm. is when we played them last. Whatever you can tell yourself, whatever you have to tell yourself, so you can sleep. <laughs> That's what we're going with. We're going with non-cheaters. What is this sleep? Is <laughs> That's right. Sleep is for the weak. <sighs> sleep when you're dead. Um. Okay, so let's let's boot it up. Let's get it going, and I can talk more about Tenebra as we go, as we have played this before. Um. Did I even load these up? Oh, I did. Um, we're going to have to switch away for a second. Because <laughs> secret directories, all that <gasps> kind of thing. Secret directories? Yeah. That's exciting. There we go. Thank you. Rawr. <laughs> okay, press the button. Oh, sorry. It's much lighter on the Jaguar. Different systems have different volume levels. Tenebra by Haplo. Okay, so um, we made it to level 19 on part one. Okay. So let me get the code for 19. Okay. So we can continue on. Thank you for the codes, by the way. Yes. Yeah, it would take us a lot longer to get back to 19. So no, I'm doing it all over again. C0, F2. So where do I put it in? Press the button. Right there. Up, down. Okay. C0, F2. Oh. And we're going the other using way. another double down joystick. Amazing, amazing Jaguar joystick that has a spinner and all the buttons. Oh. 
Oh, I did it right away. Okay. Oh, I didn't even go. hit the button. Oh, really? It's yeah. like, that's a code. That's cool. So, I am the so person. So, there's the light, if you remember. Did you play this? Yes, you played this. You press the button to pick up the there light. There we go. I, I, yeah, I, I'm going to have to remind myself of the picking up and the putting down. So then there's doors as well. There's rails. There's so can, broken rails. You light them and you can push the rails, but you have to get the hammer to, to fix, fix them. the rails. Yeah. There's one way doors. Then there's doors that you have to put down the light to go through. Is it the end? Do you remember? Are the end the one way doors? Oh, do you have the, do you have the, um, instructions because no. no. i know it tells you as you it's go. okay we can restart with one so if you mess up it's okay you have to i think you have i think those are one-way doors oh they might be one way so i yes. think they're one way oh la 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 nope nobody <laughs> phone calls it's like somebody's birthday today i know hmm. so you you need the uh, okay so there's there's a one-way door i can cross tracks can i yes, yes. so there's a one-way door there Hmm. And some doors you just can't go there, through with the light. There's down there. That. There's also teleporters That's as a, well. Is that a teleporter? Then there's the exit down at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I have to relearn all oh, this. Oh, music by Roald Strauss. Oh, it's amazing music. It's beautiful. Yes. So I can go through that door. I can go. There's, there's a key, key. But it, how do I get back through? I think it's... Oh, no, maybe I can go both light. ways. I think you... Yeah, that might I have be to both draw, ways. I can't go through it with that, but, but I can't can see it. the key. Okay, so to get the key, I'm gonna have to move. You have to lay it down. No, I'm gonna have to move that this thing. Oh. So I definitely first. need to fix it. So I think my only path forward right now is through this door. So yeah. I'm gonna guess. You have to drop it first. Somewhere. Where do I want to drop it though? It doesn't. Well, up above because you can't get through those doors. Yeah, I oh, can. just barely. Okay, that. Is a one way. Is that a one way? Mm, yes. Nope, let now that one. That one. Nope. Oh, there's the hammer. Definitely need that. So that, oh, where can I put it that I can see there. the hammer? No, it's not big enough. Yeah, right, no, about, right above not. the door. No, it's not big enough. Go above the door. Go back above the door. <sighs> Here? Yes, you can see the hammer. There. She didn't believe me. I never believe you. <laughs> uh, okay, so now I can hammer that. Uh, there's nothing else to light up here. So, the write up for this Tenebra is a atmospheric puzzle game with roguelike aesthetics. Guide the hapless protagonist to the exit. Poor guy is afraid of darkness and refuses to walk in the dark areas. Move torches around, push lights on rails, find keys to doors, light up cold braziers. Pass through archways that collapse behind you. Find oil barrows to make your torches brighter. Squeeze through cracks in broken walls. Fix broken rails with a hammer. Eliminate the sensors to open the exits. Do whatever it takes to get out of there. Side seat gamer. That's right. Zed is not one way. Just walk without the torch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember which was the one way. There's... Okay, so now... Now you're good. Now I'm good. I can go back here. Get the key... So there are, on this game, 31 levels. So we just have 12 more to go. And we're gonna finish it. Damn it. We're gonna finish all the levels on both games tonight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> is that the out? That. So what, what's this is thing? Is the exit. What is this thing? Um, I think that's a one way, but it's a teleporter in there. Or is that a light? Oh, that opens the door. That opens the door. Yeah. Oh, I have to drop something on it, don't I? No, I don't think so. No, there's no dropping things. It's one way? I don't know. Try going through it. Oh, no, it's just... It's just oh. a door. Oh, it... It made it bigger. It makes my it makes my torch bigger. Oh. That's what it is. It's the oil. Oh, it's, it, it's the oil that makes oh, the torch bigger. Oil. So... I think. There you go. You're good. Is that the exit? I can't remember. Oh, it's a door, but it's closed. I have a key, though, but 
it's not to that one. Okay, so I think. So what's left? Here. How do I get up there? Huh. Oh, is, is there a tell? What's in the bottom? Or do I have to move this back? I don't need this here now. to remember how all this works so that's oh now there. it's open yeah that oh because yeah it has to, to be lit it. okay yep i knew there was something to do with that and this oh can i go back through Just go to the door exit the door. yep okay that was oil okay that took a while <laughs> getting yep. our feet back you know yep excellent so um question for uh, Cyrano J. It says the Amiga and the Atari ST versions come in two flavors. The classic 8-bit looks and enhanced looks. Um, is there a plan to bring over the enhanced looks from the Atari ST version? If he's still in the chat. broken so I can't light that without getting the well, that's another one isn't it? I think it's broken right on the end oh because you need two of them here's there's the oh you don't even have a uh, torch yet there you go I feel like I need this somewhere maybe We'll light the see. other one. Yeah, I'm going to. So that's the door. So, but it's not open yet. So you have to find a way to open it. Can you feel that? I shall. Double Meats Co says, game is very fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is very fun. Have you played it on the Jaguar? Or what platform have you played it on? Double Meats Co. Or are you just observing that it's very fun? Oh, there oh it is. can you put it in the middle? Okay, I know what nope. I need to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll work. Behold the power of 64 bits. Yep. Exactly. Perfect. Yay. Jag. Nice. Oh, then you're a Patreon member then. I do. Yes, to light it up most likely. Possibly. Possibly. But you need to open it still. Well, I need to get in there somehow. Light up the top. I don't know. Let's see. What am Something I missing? Something is unexplored. Something is... Oh. What's up the oh. top? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. That, that has been fixed. So maybe I... Oh! Maybe this can move now. Maybe I have to move this. Fun is better than power every single time. There, there we go. go. Now I got more light. Maybe there was something missing. I need to light that up. There. Ha ha. Oh, there we go. Knew there was something. <laughs> yes, fun is always yeah. better than power. I have we have played the simplest of 2600 games. That look so simple, single color, made with blocks. Yep. And they're amazing. Yep. So this... it doesn't matter how good it looks. Okay, all I have is this little thing. I always feel like saying, you know, ask all the kids who waste all their time on Minecraft. Yes. It's so simple in some just ways. Just a 3D, 3D block Very game. simple and just so much fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, did you push it off? Oh! It's okay. Yeah. I can you have to I can do it again. Be very careful. Nope, that's not how I play games. <laughs> I play He's them infuriating. Like... Yes. I will I will think through every possible option. <laughs> Sit there. Slowly. There we go. Okay. And now, there's there's oh. down there. Down there. I can't no, get you there. can't get it? Oh no, I can't quite oh, get no. there. What am I going to do? 
Oh, maybe because I now that I've gone, maybe I need to push it one more. Oh, yep. yep. So I'm guessing I don't need to go in there anymore. Well, you can't. You can't get in, oh. in that door either. But that's okay. That's where the door is. Maybe. <gasps> oh, maybe you can go back around and push it out. Oh, yes. There. There you go. There we go. There so that's you empty. Go. That was just to get to the door. And then okay, what's you must over here? have something to trigger to open the door. That is a teleport. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was in that's there? That's in there. Oh, that was your hammer. What? Hmm. What? Is the door not open? No. Where's the... What? Uh, push that around then. Maybe that needs to be pushed to a specific location to trigger something? Up, okay. up, up. No, no. No, tracing no. all the walls. Uh... Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's it. The door was, was already open. open. Uh, yeah. I get to two, get to do two because you did two. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. So okay, that that's, triggers the door opening. So I will need to do it. Put it there eventually. Yep. You need to get a. Yep. Oh, I can't can get in. You oh. burn that door down. What? Okay. Well, but I got oh, to here. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Down. So those are broken. There you go. Now There's you can get the key. Oh, you need a key to get through that. Is that what you need the key for? For is something. To get through this door? Yes. Okay, uh, that's what the key is for. That's the key. Okay. So now you now can light can the go. thing at the bottom. Yes. So I can keep that permanently and open. And then that bottom one will light too. Yeah. There we go. Light up that one. Oh, oh get the hammer. Yeah. Fix broken track which is up there oh there's oh. a key at the far end you probably need the um uh, yeah i need to bring it back you need to bring that over bring that over it's there there you go and get the key Very nice great is that it you got a key yay your turn Oh, some of us remember Sam Trammell claiming the Jag could ray trace in real time. Cyrano says, it can. He never said how many rays. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need water. Lots of water. I'm empty. I'll be right Something back. Something funny is happening with the joystick. That's because you bumped this. Did I? Just turn it a little oh. bit till it works. There we go. key to games like this, making games like this, is the creative level design. Yeah. Once you got, you have the building blocks for making the levels, which um, Haplo has, has done. Got keys, doors, mm -hmm. lights, everything like that. And I think the, the big draw for this game is, the big twist on it is the darkness. That's that's the big twist and the, and the key to make. That, that makes this game unique. Without the darkness, it's like, oh, keys and moving things, but the darkness adds a lot because you can't see everything all at once. I, I feel totally at a loss right now what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, you don't have a torch. No. 
and this thing triggers that door. Right. And I've got two slidey things. And they don't get you anywhere? We'll go through that. You I don't can't. have a key. Okay. So and what is at the other end? And that's a door, but then you I can, can't... You can go through it. No, but I can't... can't do anything on the other side. Oh, wow. Interesting. So... Can you combine them to make a... Bigger one? Bigger light? Or does it just overlap? No. Oh, and I just fucked that up. Press, okay. Press one. One. Huh. I'm missing something here. Oh, the other question, Cyrano, was that... I don't know if you answered it. No. Um, the developer said there's an enhanced graphical version for the what? Atari ST. And this is ported from the Bigger. ST, correct? Oh, there. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. One's bigger than the other. Yeah, but oh. I still don't have a key, but still. So that's that's how you show bigger things. Um, are you porting over the enhanced um, look version of this? Okay, so that keeps it. Cerno says, yes, the d design of the levels drew me into this and made me want to port it. There we go. Serna says, I did not know that. I will ask him. Yeah. Um, I just noticed that the other day. Okay, hey, hey, hey. my turn. No. Yeah. Then we're doing two. Trading. Okay, two. We'll do two. You can do the next one. <laughs> Seven more levels to go. Seven. Seven more in this game. Every year, there's a tree outside that uh, stinks like cat pee. <laughs> it stinks so that bad. James calls the cat pee tree. Uh, let me find that information. I think it's on. Let me just see. It's on the Tenebra itch.io site. And it says the Amiga and the Atari ST versions come in two flavors. The classic 8-bit looks, which is, I'm assuming this, because this looks like the Atari 8-bit, and the enhanced looks. Now, I've never seen the Atari ST enhanced version. Um, I haven't ran it on, on an emulator, but um, that's what it says on there. Oh, there's a high-res version. I guess that's what he's talking about. Yeah, the music's really nice. So appropriate. Okay. Um, so can you trigger the high res version in the Jaguar? Oh, that's a tiny light. Tiny light. Oh, oil in there. That's what you need. Yeah, that's what I want. And the hammer. And you can see what you have at the bottom of the screen in yes, your possession. Yes, which is good. Yeah. There's a key. Oh, there's a key. You can get that right now. Okay. Oh, I can't bring this with me, though, can I? Well, I guess I have the key. That's all that matters. Yep. Okay. Now, those are one-way doors, I believe. Is there collapsible doors to get that light? No, it's a door that needs unlocking. Those are, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're Unlock right. and then collapsible, but you just go in and get is it. Is somewhere come out. I want to leave this? Yeah. And where's there? the door? Is the door somewhere? Oh. No. No. Uh, no. no. Okay. I don't see anything That's you fine. really need I to will... leave it. Do, do, do. You can put it. Yeah, I'll well put it there. you don't really need to push it down there to get in there. You gonna go get that light? Get that light. Broken. Yeah, don't leave there without it. There you go. Okay, so what else? Okay. It really reminds uh. me of the towns in Ultima. So you just push that up there. And it 
it's open. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not far enough. Are there two of them? No, I think I just need to drop this. Oh, and use that to get... Oh, it's not quite far enough. Oh, does it go further? Yeah, it does. Oh. And you need to repair tracks, maybe? Oh, yeah, there's a rep track repair there. Need to light that one. Perfect. Uh oh. Oh, did you mess it up? Yep. Yep. Damn. So close. Oh no. So close. Thought you had a light. What? Oh. No, I had to. I dropped it. It's okay. At least I know what to do. Cyrano, you said it's it is for mono. High res mono. So is this high res? This looks the same as the 8-bit version. I may be mistaken. torch up there? No, right? the torch is down oh, there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Just thinking. Less thinking, more doing. <laughs> so that just gets you there, but it doesn't... You do need the torch. ST has 640 by 400 mono high res. Can you leave the torch there up near go. the switch? I think that is the key, is to leave the torch near the switch and use the... <clears throat> and use the rail cars to light your way to the door. this one not quite mm, that doesn't quite get you to the, the other door. one's bigger no so. oh can you leave that torch that's in there up top to light that? Well, that's what you need to do, but I'm just... The torch inside? No. No? This one? No, the torch inside that oh, maze. Oh, here. This has to be here, yeah. Inside the maze, you can't get it out. Even when you use that torch to light up areas to let yourself out? Uh, and the... Um, maybe? And also the two things on rails to help let, you so let like yourself if out? I do this. Yes. And then... Leave one rail car up at the top and then bring the other one over near that uh, entrance. I just go. Oh, I'm just trying to. I need that there. No, that doesn't matter anyway. Okay. So you're thinking of putting. One rail car up top to the right. In that, oh, you can't bring it in that room. No. Ah. Is the other one bigger? No, you can't get it in there anyway. Okay, so it is those rail cars. That rail car does need to light up that. Or. No, this. This, needs that needs to light up. There you go. There you go. Now you manipulate the two rail cars. 
Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Hopefully, will be good enough. I hope. Nope. Doesn't quite get me there. Hmm. So I need. Maybe I do need the rail car at the top there then. No, no, because it's not wide enough. So I'm very confused. Reaches to the top, why? That torch inside should light up that, um, that thing. Which one? Sorry? Move no. the torch, try again with the torch inside. What, what, where, I can't move it close enough to get to here. Inside that, oh, you can't no, get in I that room. No, I can't get in that room, so ah. that is not the solution. Damn it, I was the, forgetting. The question is how to get that exposed. Does it expose it when the rail car is right there, or is it doesn't quite reach? Um, the right hand rail car moving down too. Does it? Does it? Do this one? No, no, no. The right hand rail car. This one? Yeah, move it down just a little two? bit. No. Down? No, it doesn't reach that door. No. What the hell? <laughs> what? Is this one bigger? Maybe that's the key. Yeah. Well, that's where you'd bypass it. You'd have to bring that other one down. Or bypass it there. Is this one bigger? It must be. It's the only, the only solution I can see. Yeah, Yay. that does it. Oh, I don't think that works. Here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, nope. Yep. There you go. Nope. Yes. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Bring that thing up. It's doing nothing. Just needed to be bypassed there. There you go. To the right. Now you got it. Get in there. Get in there. Give oh, it to that me. That took a long time. Painful. <laughs> so painful. Yeah, they're different size. The music is fantastic, Miss Command. I love it. It's so relaxing. Okay, well, let's get a lay of the land here. Yahtzee. <laughs> both of those at the same time bit by bit in the case because i know puzzles and that's <laughs> set up just we want you to so. do lots of work there we go that's one and, and that's then you can't two. get back <gasps> just move oh. it back one no i guess I'll no do, you, you just need later. to move you need to move that no 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 go back there drop it there there now you can now you can get it back Go back one more. Oh. And now you can get back to it, is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh. Now this is multi, one. multi stage. Oh my goodness. This is going to be. Upward. I just moved the upper one. Yeah. There you go. Now I can't get back. Well, there. Does that expose what you need, though? <laughs> Almost. You need to move move that over one more. No, no, to the corner. One yes. over. There. No. Nope. Talking about. Oh no. <laughs> I, so close. I, I'm doing too one thing too early. No, you're not. I don't think you are. Can you move that one over one more? I'm gonna use the. I don't need uh, to make the exit ready just yet. 
This is just being exercise in frustration. Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, I don't have a key! Yeah, the key's over on the other side. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Where was the key? <laughs> it's way on the other side. I guarantee you need to get that door. So, go and get the torch, maybe, and see what's down at the bottom right. Oh, there you go. Why didn't I get that key before? I don't know. Silliness. Now I move them to all over again. Actually, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, they're all the way over. Oops. Just need to move the torch again. It's where you got the key. Oh, okay. Now I need to move them back over to the right. Correct. I need to put this in a special spot or anything? No, because you have to get back there so you need it when you cross that wall. So. These are so frustrating because it's like a little bit, little bit, little bit. Yeah, this one is like just a little bit. Then move that one a are little bit. Are you the key master? <laughs> no, I am the gatekeeper. I am the gatekeeper. And here it is. No. Close. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah. Level 26, we're almost there. The maze, great. That's what I want to hear. James loves dark mazes. I love, well, I have a little light, so I'm not not completely in the dark, but this is one of my yeah. all-time favorite things in games, is dark ma Why did I get this? Why am I the one who got this? Is, is this the level? Is it just yeah. a maze? I hope so. That's cause... what it looks like to me. Well, that's a good find. That's exciting. <laughs> so we continued on with our sixth day of our Martin Scorsese Film Festival movie marathon. Yes, we did. Watch, what did we see? Watching every single film that Martin Scorsese has ever directed. We watched... A part one of s four or six uh, part blues, blues uh, documentary. documentary, which was bad. Okay. Okay. That Yay! Was good job. Um, we watched Pac Man. Uh oh, are there ghosts? Oh no, are there things coming to get you? Oh, it's probably just another maze. Oh, we we watched um, the one set in New York. What is it called? Five Corners movie. King of New York, right? Was it? Not King of New York. What was it called? What? There's Gangs of New York. The Gangs of New York. Yes. Which I liked infinitely better than the last time I saw it. Did you? Yes, I did. Last time, I, I, I don't know. I was just like super bored. I, last time I, I, I was so. When it came out. I, I still. You didn't like it. Not too my much. favorite film. I find it very. Oh, dull. not my favorite. Oh, get that oil. That's much better. Um, not my favorite film of his, but I liked it a lot more. Uh, it had Daniel Day Lewis. And it had. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yep, and. Uh, um, 
oh gosh, uh, the actress's name has escaped me, but yeah, uh, all uh, all good acting, and also had uh, John C. Riley. John C. Riley, I always love in a serious role. <laughs> uh, he's amazing. Oh, two torches. Oh, you're gonna have to uh, oh. place them. Okay. So the door's barred, so you're gonna have to use one of the torches to light that. Oh, you've got access to the other torch. I think you're done. Get and out of there. And I just have to go in here, right? Yeah. There you go. And we also watched The Aviator, which, oh. I, which I'd never seen before. It was very good. I thought, I really liked The Aviator. I saw it in the theater way back when. You want to do the next one? You've done two, right? One. Okay. Go for it. Um, uh, I was quite surprised you hadn't seen it. I, I think that's a great film. I am... Um, it's just like Planes and Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> Not interested. But really? Yeah, I just when had... I saw ads for it, I was like, yeah. Oh, I, I, it's... Oh, stairs? Pseudo stairs? Pseudo kind stairs? of stairs? Um, yeah, it's, it's the kind of life of... Oh, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, who has... OCD, OCD, I would say. <laughs> Extreme OCD Extreme, that gets um, worse throughout the film. What is it called? Uh, uh, like uh, not virus phobia. Uh, what do you call oh, it? I don't know. Uh, Where yes. germophobia? Germophobia. Like extreme germophobia brings it on soap everywhere. Uh, germaphobe. That's it. Germophobia. Um, it gets progressively worse as he gets older too. Like okay. it, brilliant. Entrepreneur um, is portrayed as a brilliant entrepreneur that pushed the realms of aviation and lots of other things too. Movies too. <laughs> Such a weird combination of director and um, and um, person who. Was like CEO of a massive TWA. Yeah, yeah. He um, sorry. <laughs> he so he was the he did own TWA. He owned the, you know the Hughes oh. Tool Company. Yeah. Um. That's where he made all his money. Where he, yes, his family made his all family his money. Did. Really uh, reminded me of Elon Musk. Where his family made tons and tons of money, and then he it's went so, on yeah. and did a whole bunch of stuff after. And he was he some was, things worked, some things didn't. Yeah, and he was very sort of inspired by engineering. And I was reading up afterwards that the company he had that made airplanes also was heavily involved in aerospace as well. Yes. And um, which they didn't talk about in the film. No, they wanted but, to keep it concentrated on. Very but I thought that was. Stories really really interesting yeah. uh, uh except howard was actually a brilliant engineer unlike yeah you know, yeah they didn't they didn't really focus on like they showed him like having I ideas like, big but did, ideas yeah but they also showed him like oh change that and that but he yeah. said he didn't have a degree he didn't go to school but he obviously grew up amongst engineers yeah, right so he yeah. learned by just being around it yeah but i i really really <clears throat> But, you know, parts of it reminded me of Elon. And Elon, you know, just, just jumps his, from things to things. He's, yeah. a, he's a charismatic person. If you call Elon charismatic. Well, sure. in ways. <laughs> Howard Hughes, probably more so. <laughs> more so, yes. Um, but, uh, you know, someone who did come from mm. a lot of privilege. Yeah. But also was a very brilliant person at the same time. Like, in, in their own right. Yeah. Knew what they were doing and... But it was really and good. Also ex I really like that film. Like Elon, so. Yeah. Oh, very, very. But yeah, I really like the film a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. really, really good. Yeah, it is a good film. Um, uh, he also did uh, documentaries on like 9-11-ish. 9, 9 adjacent. Sort of. I don't know if it was just like a commemorative video or something about New York. Video. Um, the two main films was The Aviator and The Gangs of New York that we saw, yeah. right? Where to go? You need to, fi you need to figure oh. out. Oh, that's what there you need right go. there. There Just you go. And I can fix all the stuffs. Fix it. Fix it good. Yep. Uh, fixed it good. Does anything else need fixing? Down? Yep. There it 
is. Yeah, he did like a very kind of quick video, probably using footage he already had, it seemed, um, focusing on like neighborhoods of New York after 9-11. Then he did one on the Statue of Liberty, which is actually quite interesting. A lot of information about the Statue of Liberty. Um, oh. So is it over here? That one's big. So you need to move the big oh, one. So so you okay. kind of need to, I think, position that down so you can yeah. get that, that torch. Um, oh, yeah. Gamadev, they should do a spinoff movie about his one-time girlfriend, Hedy Lamar, who basically came up with Wi-Fi. Yeah, she was a yes. brilliant yes. In, inventor, engineer as well. Amazing. Why? That was a one-way one. Oh, it tricked me. It did trick you. <sighs> That's okay. I yeah, really it's, this much. is a tricky one. <laughs> then this goes all the way over to the left. Then I get the hammer. Then I fix. But now I don't move that one back because... Move it down? Up. I need to move the big one. Over. Yeah. Won't get myself trapped. Don't do that. Maybe I'll move it to the left. See what's over there. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's. Uh, you want to get that, that torch. Oh, yes. Right. You want to so move it that's down. That's what I need first. Yeah. Move that down. It's a one way, but, but there you can must see, be an exit. You can out see, of this right? One. Yeah. There. Perfect. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um. Anyway, I, I really like The Aviator. I was never a big fan of Gangs of New York. It always felt like, when we were watching it, it felt to me like... Bet I can get out now, what do you think? Uh, well, you can't key? cross through with, with the torch, oh. so you you need to move that down. Oh, yes, okay. Right? Like so that down to the more. bottom so you can see, I'm guessing. Yeah. And then uh, torch is not doing good. much of anything. Uh, oh, maybe you need to move the other one <gasps> over too. Oh yes, light up a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I don't know if that helps you. But maybe. Not a whole lot. No. Um. Well, you have to drop the torch at some point too. But you said there's a door down there. Uh, no, I can't. Oh yeah. Ugh. That doesn't help me. I don't have the key. It, that's the exit for sure. Oh, I see. Once you get the key, but there's no so torch go to in the there. So edge. So you need the key, and the you need that lit. So maybe the big one needs to be where the small one is. Most likely. There. And then move the small one down. I don't know if that helps you. Doesn't help And much. then drop the torch. No, it's not a path. Not a much, oh, not so enough the of the dropping the torch doesn't help you. Anything else? You can go through that though, can't you? Oh no, you don't have the key. No, that's uh, the exit. Okay, how Is about put the big one down? Okay. Move that up. Move the big one. Oh, move that up further. Yeah. Don't get them trapped beside each other. Okay. Now, if you go to the torch and go all the way to the right. Doesn't, doesn't light up enough to get the path okay, through. Okay, if you if you take the torch down to the bottom bottom corner, does that help you? No. It doesn't do anything. It's not enough. It doesn't go through the walls. It goes through the walls a bit, but not enough. I can't get back through here. Well, move the little one. Is there anything else that I missed? That just opens the door. That's later. Well. Oh, you found a well. There you go. Now, if you drop the torch, do, 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 do. that would get me out. So then, you want to move maybe the little one over? Would that give you the little one to the bottom there? And then drop the torch. Oh no, you can't get to the top.
there. That'll yep. get you up. Good job. Oh, no, you can't go through. It's dark. It's in darkness. It's in oh, darkness on the no. other side of the door. Do I have the wrong one? Maybe? The wrong... Push that down to the bottom. There. Well, you're gonna have to move the torch. Oh, can you do it? Yeah, you can. You can get out. Oh, oh good job. Goodness. And then you have to <laughs> move it up to trigger the. One of them. I don't know if it's the big one or the little one. That's that enough. One. The big one. Is that the big one or the small yeah, one? Yeah, that's the big one. You need the big one. Really? Yes. But I can get rid of the small one. Oh, good job. And this needs to be somewhere else over here. Down. Well, you just walk through. Just go to the right. Can't you just go through? You have oh, the key. that one doesn't light it up. I was the torch that was lighting it, lighting up the. What are you doing? You it's not the... this. It was the torch. Oh, it was the big one. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't need that. Just go through the door. <sighs> Two more. Think before you act. Uh oh, traps. Traps everywhere. All it says is you're going to make a lot of mistakes. That's not a mistake. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I can't Need do more much. light. <laughs> can't do anything in there yet. Let's look around first. So there's broken tracks in there. There's a key in there. There's another light one to light up on the left. You just walked right past that one. There you go. There you go. Hopefully that's not all bad. So I need the key in there. Oh, there's another key. Two keys. Oh, one per door? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So what's at the bottom? Can you go in there? Um, at without the my torch, I can. But I can't go anywhere because. Oh! That's one way. Is that a trap? Yes. <laughs> it says think before you act. Yeah, you can't go in there yet. I wasn't thinking about going through that door, but that's okay. There's, the, uh, there's two doors. So this first, maybe. How do you get in this one? This, well, you need the you need the oil. Go down to the bottom. So go go down. Is there a door there? So you need a key to get through that door, or oh, you need to go through the right other now. the other end. But the thing is, is there? Yep. Oh. Full path all the way through right now. Pretty sure. But I don't have a torch. But once I open that break open that door, I can bring the torch back in. got more light. So I think I have to do this key next so I can bring the torch in. So you need area. a hammer. So maybe maybe the hammer is up above. Yeah. And you'll need the hammer. Nice. There's the door. Anything else? No. Okay. So, so you I, definitely need a light. Well, so you I just need to light your that. path. Nope. Ah, no. Almost. Close, but not quite. Oof. There? There yeah. looks okay. I can fix this. Slowly push this across. Oh, oh no. It's a one way. Oh, I'm good. Anything else in here? Nope. And back we go. And I'm good. <laughs> so, where's the thing to light the door? Now, the key. That gets you... Oh! That opens the door. But you can't get back through. So... So you can bring the torch in. You I just a need path. a path back to the door. 
Do you have a pass? Yeah. Yeah, you do. I think I'm good. Yeah, I think you are. Wow, that was good. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Yay! And you get to do the last one. Last level? I still think Scorsese's most underrated film is The King of oh, Comedy. Oh, fantastic. And apparently so did the writer-director of Joker, since they cut and paste half its script. Exactly. Um, yeah. Joker is a mix of Taxi Driver and King of Comedy. And um, all three are great films. Taxi Driver, King of Comedy, and Joker. Taxi Driver being his perfect film, Scorsese's. I mean, Goodfellas as well. I think I, I think I gave Goodfellas ten out of ten as well. I think you did. Yeah, it's Taxi Driver and Goodfellas. Because we're rating them as we go. I can get out once I get in. All his shorts, documentaries, and um, features. So we're gonna do a top top ten at the end of his best and worst. <laughs> That'll be very interesting. Yeah, I think... I think I am going to have to go this way. Because that, that does give me a path. Uh, not to anywhere. Oh, you get to yes. push that. Okay. I've already lit it, so... Okay. Yeah, you're good. Just don't go down the bottom. She's not getting out. No, but will I ever get that back? Who knows? Be very precise, eh? Yep. Oh, I should have so paid attention are, to where, where I wanted to go next. A lot of these are one ways. The only way you can see things is push that thing. Yeah, if you haven't seen... Oh. And screwed. Yeah. yeah, I have to figure out which way I'm going. One. Be very precise, and I'm glad you're on this one. So, yeah. Oh, so survey the whole land there. first. You have to figure out the path, the yeah. route. Here's a key. Yeah, if you haven't seen King of Comedy, highly, highly suggest you watch it. It is really Actually. great. And opens that. the funny thing is, I he's supposed is he supposed to be a bad comedian in King of Comedy? Well, uh, I mean, it's hard to tell whether the jokes he's, are in his mind that are good well or that's bad. i think that's the whole thing is because he his reception isn't terrible no people are people laughing like at it. his jokes and i think they're decent jokes but, but that's it's they're very it's, modern but jokes, it's actually. it's not the point i yeah. i don't think no it is not because it's not about whether he's funny or not it's the length he goes hey. to hey. to get the attention I, I think they're super modern jokes they're talking about like the jokes are about mental illness and living in a difficult environment and it's like that's a pretty recent this is what I phenomenon in in comedy is talking about issues yeah back then in the late 70s that was not a thing not a big thing anyway this is interesting okay so i think i'm gonna do this wrong many times i can guarantee you oh yeah so it's a tough do, one do do do. So that block that path. But now I have a way to get back to it. Oh. So I just need enough of a path. I'm gonna screw myself here. Where are you wanting to push it down? Or oh I see. You want to get back to there. Because you need that back. Yeah. So I've got um, okay. I see. Don't have a key yet. And that. Yeah, I can't get past there. I think this is probably. Tari. Tari. The last Please. spot I need. So then I need to get that key. Right. You can leave the torch in the middle. And that'll let you get through both those ends. Does it let you go back around? I the torch think I where the need key is? this. In the middle to push up. 
So if I push that up to, where can I push it up to? I guess I can still go around it. I just need a path. So I need that, I need the torch oh, right leave, here. If you leave the torch on the left hand side, that. No, 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 more. I need the torch right here. Oh, you can duck, right? duck in and get it. Yeah. And then I need this part exposed by this light. Yes. So I just need to be not Need the first end lit. Is that enough? Yep. That's enough, right? Yep. Get it. There, even better. Okay. Stalking was a pretty new phenomenon when it was made. It was eight years before the first anti-stalking laws, and Dominique Don was probably the first high-profile stalking case that happened in the same year. Interesting. Who did he stalk? So I think I need to move this here. Oh, that is the person who was stalked. Okay. Huh. If I put it there, it blocks me. Teenage daughter and poltergeist, right. Trying to light it's up down the bottom, right? right? Like it's somewhere down at the bottom. I can't even see what's there. There's a door, you so I can key. go through the the. I guess once I open the door, you can still use the torch. I can yeah. go back, right? Yep. Okay. So you need to okay. light that with okay. the torch I know and also what I need provide a way out. So I think I need All to, the way to the left. push this. Yes. To here. There, there you go. So I just need that and the door. Yep. Lit. And then you push it all the way to the right to the door, and you're out. And you win the game. Do I? Yep. You're done. Yay! Woo! Level thirty-one. Oh, I was killed by a stalker. Yeah. Okay. Press the button. Wow. You won. The end! The end! <laughs> Yay! Such a fun game! Tenebra. Okay. So, um. Time for part two. Uh, so, and we, so, yeah, we saw something on the blues, and we saw a couple of short films, but it was mainly The Aviator and Gangs of New York that we watched. Yes. Yes. I'll bring up what we'll be watching next next time, it's time. so this is oh zero woo well that's play testing on that done says <laughs> that's right well at least those levels um and i believe some people in the forums are, also went through them too i mean this is oh yes yeah play testing on an actual hardware i'm not sure what the other people played mm. it on uh, it's treat time, kittens. Let's trigger the treat time and uh, see how people will do. You ready? This is the new one. Oh, you're not ready yet, because. <laughs> okay. So how? Right? So how is this working now? It's betting. It's it, puss and bets. Puss, puss and, and bets. bets. <laughs> um. So they will bet how many rings this little cat. Okay. Will do in a minute. Okay. And we How give them a many treat. in a minute? And we're using the pink one because that's what we used last time. Okay. We have to standardize it to the pink one. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to switch over and uh, the bets are active now. Okay. So there are five choices. 
Uh, one eight. for nine plus, two for eight rings, uh, three for seven rings, four for six rings, and five is one through five. Okay. So one through five is very easy for him to get. And that's why they're all grouped together. Yeah. Um, but the other ones in the middle are like, mm, I don't know. Okay, okay. So we'll okay. see how this works. One We're bed We're still each? testing it out. Yeah, one bed each. No on-screen timer? Uh... Uh, no, sorry. No, not yet. Not yet. No, okay, we no. haven't gone that yet. I made... No, I can't do it. I, th I was th thinking I could, but... No, that's okay. It's too... Yeah. Uh, we will next get time. It. We'll get it. We'll get it set up. James will have his stopwatch going, so... But I do have... A beeper. Okay. That will. We uh, have a timer that will go off. Yeah. We have a timer that'll make sounds. So everyone, get your predictions in. Get your predictions. Hit that in. predict button. So we've got Pick some, one through five. Yeah. Some people are betting on the nine plus. A bunch of people betting on the one through five. One going right safe in the middle with a seven. Yeah. Exciting. Exciting. Nobody's on the eight. Oh, oh we got a six covered. Six. Excellent. So there's only eight not covered. So. He seems he's been rubbing my hand, and so he he clearly wants some treats. Yeah, he did been... get his treat ball earlier. Yeah. So got about ten seconds left. If somebody seconds. wants to throw even ten on uh, eight treats. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Fully covered. All the pets are. Covered. Somebody will win now. Someone will win. Yes. Okay, bets well, are over. Atari always wins. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's the big winner. Yeah, he is. All right. Okay, so here's the treats. Oh, you've got treats. I've out. got treats oh, in my hands. Oh, okay. I know how this game is and it played. It starts when he rings the first bell. Yes. So he automatically always gets one point. Are we closing the door? We need to close. Oh uh, yeah. You stay there. Don't run out. Don't. Run out. <laughs> there we go. He likes to run out because. So funny how he. And you have to toss it right near the bell. Okay, I know. He does. How. He does smack it away though. Okay, sometimes. I will be careful to try and stop him. Okay. Are, Are you, you ready? ready? Set. Oh, let me get my... Um, got your timer ready? I got the timer ready. I just need to reset the points. Okay, we're good. Oh. Okay, you ready? There we go. One. There we go. And... Uh, it's not very We've accurate. started. Yeah, it started. That's one. One treat. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> need to get it on the screen. Two treats. If a blank option wins, it all goes to the house. That's why it's good yeah. to throw just 10 on an empty one, because you never know. Bring it. Harder. Harder. Good. Oh, there we go. Three. Three points. We're almost at, ooh, halfway mark. Yeah, we're at halfway 30 mark. 30 seconds left. We will get the, the timer we'll on get the screen. At least five. Yeah, we'll get it on next time. Come on. Harder. Bring it. Harder. 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 Harder, kitten. Come on. Come on. Harder. There, there we, we go. go. That's four. four. That didn't count. He was <laughs> racing for one. 12, 10 seconds left. Come on, kitten. Get in the game. Eight, seven. Ring the bell. Five. Three seconds. Two seconds. One. All right. Well, he got five. He got five. He got five. Last time it was seven or eight. Really? Yeah, oh my gosh. He's really was, hungry. I think it was seven. Okay. You gonna go for it again? <laughs> Are you gonna go for it again? So got five. He's very slow. Into the ether, I yeah. think it's the catnip and the earlier treats. There you go. Yeah, so you can give him some more. I'll give you a couple more. Here you go. Good yeah, kitty. Still experimental. Five. Okay, okay. We may go for two minutes. I don't know. Because last time he got seven okay. in a minute. This time he got five in a minute. Okay. I think we can give him more. We're just worried about giving him too many treats. That's the thing. What do you mean? Like for more time? Um, just in general, if we w bump it up to two minutes, it'll it'll stretch things out. True. And it won't be so clumpy. Like it's like. I I think. Yeah. Then we can like make it one through five, good or key, and then key. like six through blah, six through eight. I think we're gonna have like, a few more experiments to see yeah. what works best. He did get he did get treats though. He's a happy he cat. That's thank you. Thank you, Vitoko. 100 seconds. 100 seconds might be good, actually. Well, that's close to two minutes. Might as well, make it well no, no. I it's mean, easier to put in two minutes. I think 100 seconds would be good. So, all the timers don't do seconds. It's like hundreds. if he's doing one every 10 seconds, that's 10. That's very similar to before where we went went first to 10. Metric minute. A yes. metric minute. <laughs> that's right. In Canada, we have 10 hours. Yeah. 
Correct. 10 hours in the morning, 10 hours in the evening, and We split our minutes. day up into 10, 10 increments, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's dole it out. Okay. But it's always even, no matter what, because we lay out the rules beforehand. We give everybody... <laughs> 10 hours at supper time. That's right. Let's let's see who won. It was Gamadev. Yay. Congratulations. Gamadev wins the whole pot. Good job. Congratulations, Gamadev. Okay. Now into part two mm -hmm. of Tenebra. Now, we made it to level 21. Let's see. Let me just get back to my notes. Pretty sure we made it to level 21 in part two. So made a little bit further than last time. Yeah, 21 in part two. <laughs> Catnip plus tree ball equals sluggish kitty. That is correct. That is true. <laughs> it's best to do the the cat the, the, the nothing first and yeah. do the rewards, the bell first. Yeah. But I mean, he doesn't have the anxiety of the second cat around either. That's so true. So he's not as fast. That's true. He's yeah. not pushed. Right? Yeah. He's like, I'm in charge now. <laughs> I, I can have the treats, all the treats whenever I want. So. Yeah, because yeah. before he would like get to five total and Sprite would get to 10. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So now he's like, I can take my time. Yeah. <laughs> Luxury. Yeah. The thwart all the, all the people betting on me. Yeah, he's got no competition now. We'll okay. figure something out. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, Tenebra 2. <laughs> Let's Yay! load that up. So good, Tenebra. I'm yes. so excited for Tenebra 2. Let me change the graphic here. I believe there's more things. It's been a while since we played it. So I'm struggling to remember what all the other options were. 35 chapters. So there's a little bit. Ooh, there's more. A, there's a couple more levels. So I'm going to start off because you did... Um, Gamma Def says two-bit frame buffer this time. <laughs> it's right. Instead of one bit. Uh... I just remember what's in the secret folder. I forgot to send that. Forgot I sent that. <laughs> I sent that. Oh. Atari's yeah. not aware that it's a speed run tree <laughs> No, he's not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so mm. let's go How to level How would we get him to do a speed run? That's a good question. You'd have to put all the treats at the end. Oh. Is this for level one? Wait, have we played ten number two before? Yeah, we're on level 21. Oh my goodness. Did I play it with you? Oh, number yeah. two? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Oh, oh, yes. There's more things in this. Pressure plates. Yes. Toggles the state of the sliding doors. Oh, my God. I can't remember any of this. Mm. We're going to be screwing up a lot, I think, in the beginning. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do remember it. Oh, toggles. Oh, it, okay. It's a toggle. Okay. And that's a rabbit. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a thing that I can collect. It's a thing you picked up. Oh, toggle. There you go. Oh, okay. And that's a one way. You can shoot through it, right? Oh, right. What did that do? It, it created a teleport. A, a teleport. Is that what it is? Oh, there's a thing. There you go. Yeah. And it makes a teleport. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. It was a training level. Tenebra 3, portal gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. boy, yeah. Get to the gate. So, we've got some of the similar things. We've got the gun. The portal we've gun. got one. That's a door. Oh, what? What? Oh, there's another portal. And then we can get the light. Those are just things you can walk on. Okay. Make noises. Oh, what? I'm in the wall. Am I supposed to be able to walk on that? I think through so. the wall. I oh. can't walk through that one. Oh, but that wall. Oh, well. That might be a bug. Uh, you want to get that key. So can you portal gun to the? Oh, what? Oh, it resets. That resets all the. Oh, portals. that's what it is. Oh, I screwed myself. Did you? We can't go to the other side? No, that's it. Oh, you can't go wait. back down? Oh, wait, wait. There you go. 
the pressure plate. What? Oh, there's another portal. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. But I still think that's a bug walking into the wall. And I can go here. Now I've got the key. Go back through the door. I can get out. Then there's the door. portals. No. Hmm. What's the one on the bottom? Oh, wait, there's another one. Okay. Oh, no. Never mind. So, go back to the other side there here yeah uh no uh the upper part where you shoot the portal gun through the wall there that one so go there and then shoot down oh okay does that help Ooh, you oh i can't all? shoot through there oh you can't shoot through it okay i mean i you... can walk through there <coughs> um but it'll erase that portal and then i have to use those two portals. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have to get to that door, but I can't get in that door. So if you cross what over that through thing? that door. Uh, there. There? Okay. No, 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 not the portal, the door. The door that you opened. Oh, yeah. Where the pressure plate is. So oh, if you right. shoot down. Well, you're. That one? Uh, yeah, but you just went over the pressure plate again. Oh. So you can create one there. Is there somewhere else you can create it? I can create one there. I can create one there. Oh, just opened. Yeah, because you hit the pressure oh, plate. It cycles through. So stupid. And then you can... Oop, don't drop that. And then you could go back. Now you need the pressure plate changed again. Oh, yes. So you just walk in. So it opens that. And then there. Right. Okay. You got it. Yay, portal. Which will ship first? Tenebra 3 or Half-Life 3? <laughs> oh, look at all the items. Oh, I have to fix things and light things. And oh, boy. Oh, it's your turn. My turn. Yeah. Oh, my Sorry. It's been hogging it. Fix things and light things. I did level one. 21 and 22. So it's 23. how do you use the portal gun again? Uh, you just uh, hold down the button and shoot in a direction. Oh, okay. Okay, so... Great thing about this game is that it can be ported to so many systems. Any system that can show tile-based or reassignable um, characters on the screen. <clears throat> and at worst, you can scroll the screen if this is too many characters across. I'm not sure how many um, tiles it is across, but it is... Okay, now I can at see where, see where things are. 40? If it's 40 across, that will work on a lot of systems. Um, because this game is on, let me read out how many systems it on, it's on. What is that that thing? That's a pickaxe, right? Oh, and it goes it through certain walls. Yes. Okay, so I don't. I need more oil. Definitely. So this is on the Commodore 64, plus four Amiga, Atari ST, 8-bit, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, MSX. BBC Micro, Acorn Electra, and Tesla Andra. That's a new one. Never heard of it before. But I'm I'm guessing it could be put on so many more systems because it is 40 across. Poor Vic 20 players. They could do a scrolling version for Vic 20. Like I said, they could. I mean, it's not as great because you wouldn't be able to see things that maybe you're triggering. That might be very bad. Mm. It might be. <laughs> so I, I would think maybe it's a 40 character um, across is the minimum. By how many high? 20, 24? Not sure. Part. 
surprised there's no double res apple high res apple two version well haplos be <laughs> Haplo better get on it then okay love the music. So atmospheric. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. So atmospheric. Oh yeah, I was going to look up what's next on our uh, movie marathon. Now I have the portal gun. Now we're thinking of portals. Movie marathons. Martin Scorsese. Day seven. Oh my god, what's happening here? Uh, the Departed is next. And Shutter Island. I have not seen Shutter Island, but I've seen The Departed, which is which is good. It's a good film. Not as good as Infernal Affairs, not even close, oh, yeah. <laughs> which it's based on, but it's just based on the first Infernal Affairs. Did it not do well? Or maybe it just doesn't want to do two more movies with the same characters. Um, it's also a documentary called Shine a Light, and I believe that's a Rolling Stones documentary, yes. which I'm like... How do you feel about the Rolling Stones? Me? Yes. They're fine. <laughs> Take it or leave my it. My parents, uh, yeah. my mom in particular, was a big Rolling Stones fan. I don't so mind you, their music. So you heard a bunch of it? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> like some of their early, early, early stuff. Like Paint It Black. Um, but as it goes on, it's just like, yeah, it's generic rock music. Um, and there's a Bob Dylan documentary that kicks it off. Three and a half hour Bob Dylan documentary. All right. Get to learn all about Bob Dylan, I guess. Rolling Stone. Gamma says uh, Rolling Stones gather no moss. That's correct. They're still touring. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable when you think about it. Like, just absolutely mind blowing. How many years later? How many years have they been together? Oh, a long time. 55? Probably way more than that. Here's my browsers. Are they all over there? Nope. Is that a here. door that breaks? That I, I... hashed one? Yeah. Well, you do have the pickaxe, so you... I thought that was a reset. Because it was a reset on the other ones. A reset? Resets all the portals. The thin one? Not the thin one. I think that one's you hammer through it. You hammer through it? You've got a pickaxe, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Go. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Rolling Stones. 1962. So, uh, 62 years they've been together. That's absolutely unbelievable. You did dun, it! Dun, dun. Oh, are you giving up on one level? Oh, are we doing one or two? Uh, we're going to do one. They're probably longer yeah. now. They do. This definitely has more going. Get to the gate! Okay. <laughs> we ran out of things to say. I uh, can't do anything. Oh, okay. Got a pushy cart. Let's push it. Oh, and a broken thing, but I can get the portal gun. Portal. Can I get anything else? Nope. Let's go up now. Now I've got a portal. You have to do it from oh. the other side. Oh. But you Was can it get revealed? you oh. can you can get the, the thing up there. That can never oh. hurt anyone. That's right, I didn't even see that. Yep, get the Blending torch. right in. The thingy with the thingy, you know. Get the thingy with the thingy. Okay, so that's what uh, I need to light up. Eventually that needs to go there. With the push cart. Yeah. There's clearly um, that you need the pickaxe to break. Right. So that's that and that will fix um, affect. What is that thing? Ooh. Hmm. Is it Zapia? 
that's a portal. Is there anything portal? in there? Maybe in the corner. Is there another portal here? Oh, there is. Okay. Take the portal to the portal. I shall. Pickaxe! Yay! Pew! Do not shoot that other one or you're stuck in there forever. Um, now I can pickaxe through this and this. And what is that? Pressure plate. Right. Oh, that opened open the one up there. Up. And then you can... There you oh, go. Fix, fix that. So I can push that a little bit further now. Which will be the end. Yep. It opens and that's the, the door. door. But then what is that thing? Can oh, light that up. There you go. That's an empty room. Can't get into there. So what is that? I think I'm good. What is that plate thing, though? Well, there's two pressure plates in there, so I have to do it. What is that noise getting? So right now it's closed. Open, closed. So I have to but what trigger is that it once thing more. In the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Well, we'll find out. Well, whatever it was, it worked. <laughs> da, da, da. Can you name the Scorsese movie that spawned a long-running TV yes, series? Yes, Alice doesn't live here anymore. Oh, so quick. We watched, we watched that. Yes. Um, really and good when I movie. mentioned to James, oh, oh the, the TV series Alice was based off of it. After we watched it, he was like, really? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Is that a one-way? What what was that thing that you, you walked on? I, I don't know. I just ran through it and it didn't seem to affect anything. But maybe the thing that affected didn't matter. Possibly. Yeah, if you haven't okay. seen Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, it's, it's... It's a very good film. Really good drama. Really, really Very different, amazing I think, acting. from a lot of... Oh, these look oh, like... Oh, so different out of all of his... One-way spaces here, don't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of one-way. Out of all his filmography, it's 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 very unique. There we go. That'll do it. Now you have light, light as he's. Give me light. Portal. Get a portal gun. Woo! Nice. Do that one now. No oh, other side. Other side. Oh. Can you shoot a portal without seeing it? I think you can, because I did do it. So there is a portal in there. There's another one. I can't break through that. There's a portal down there, so you can shoot it and then go through. Big axe! Now go back through! Do I want to go back through or do yeah. I want to get out that way? Mm, don't do it! Go pickaxe the wall first. Pickaxe that wall. Pressure plate! Yay! I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, Gamma Dev is a fan of Scorsese. Not quite New York, New York unique. No. Oh, that was terrible. Oh my God, that film is so bad in so many ways. That is one movie I would recommend oh, no. never watching. Huh. Oh, that's how you get out. That's how. Okay. Would you say that's uh, like the last movie you'd want to see of Scorsese's again? Oh, it was the worst movie. <laughs> so bad. It was truly, truly terrible. With good actors in it. It's just so bad. Oh, it was just not good. And Great. Un and um, uncomfortable. There we go. Now I'm on the outside. The music in it is uh, is really good. Yeah. yeah. That's got some now light. I can see something. But is the episodes of Amazing Stories is pretty great. Um, oh, the one we saw was meh. No, it's not good. No, no, no. <laughs> it's got the start it was, it was of a good great. premise, but the execution, it was very pulpy comic book, like such thin premise. Mm. That was the one with the writer. The writer one. Yeah. It was it's filmed pretty much in one house. Get out of here, can't I? 90%. Um, uh. No, we did not like that at all. Maybe you watched it in a time in your life that it was good. <laughs> but it was bad. It's bad news. It was just so cliche. 
and it didn't it didn't go anywhere. It was it was uh say particularly unique no like I was really into horror comics as a kid like really 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 into them I had tons of them hundreds of them um, and you know I would see that that would be the exact premise of a horror story in a comic that there would be like three stories in uh, an anthology, so it would be very short. Um, what was the one called where it was an anthology, where it was three directors? I can't it. And it was Scorsese, it was... Um, Scorsese's was terrible. Oh, uh, New York Stories. New York no, Stories. New, uh, it wasn't as bad as um, Francis Ford Coppola's. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was bad. Francis Ford Coppola's was terrible. It's written <laughs> by his daughter. Because it was written by his daughter. Who was, it, like, seven uh, at the time. Yeah, it was not the greatest. Um, Is that this? But Woody before? Allen's was, was really good. Yeah. He's a um, terrible person, but is is, <laughs> is a really yeah. good movie. Yeah. There we go. Um, okay. It was so quirky. So I liked strange. I liked his his was funny yeah. yeah New York stories well it's a premise has been done since but, but plus it's primetime network TV so you're not gonna get HBO's tales from the crypt going no no it's very true so you do have to put it in context I suppose a little bit but still uh, yeah <laughs> eep, eep, eep. so you have to light that okay that's lit and now I have to get oh. into here so you have if to do I just a portal. need a portal spot somewhere where yeah. is there a portal spot it's got to be one somewhere here, here, somewhere 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 you've already triggered it so you just have to shoot a portal and get to it that's from the other side interesting oh Some other ones I'd never seen Casino before. Oh yeah, I love Casino. It was quite quite good. I quite good. I of I think it's Sharon Stone's finest oh, she was very film good performance. I think she's so good in that. Yeah, she's really excellent. Maybe I need. Hmm. Pe no. Pesci, Pesci was Pesciing. Pesci loves Was that Pesci. his Pesciing? Was that his Pesciest? Most Pesciest. Yeah. <laughs> Because you know, because <laughs> he's pesky. Yeah. Uh, very good. How do I? How do I? Is there one in there? You didn't go in there. I can't cross. Is there? Is I there did go in there. in there. Oh, okay. Uh, Sharon ruins the movie, but I understand. What? She, but I understand she's supposed to. Yeah. No, well, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Hate like p characters you oh, hate there. because they're hateable is fine. If it's bad acting, or it's like. There you go. You did it. Go through the portal. Yeah, do it. Go through that door. My turn. Okay, that took a little while. <laughs> she ruins the movie. No, she's fantastic. She's she's a horrible person. Yeah. Horrible, horrible person in the movie. Well. But are the acting's good. She's got a lot of problems. <laughs> you understand her. A you lot understand of her motivation. I th I just think she was really good. At yeah. It. I think her acting was excellent and. As long as the character is motivated to do what they're supposed to do. She Ooh, don't put it there. acts is exactly like the character she is at the beginning of the film is the character she yeah. is at the end. Yeah, she doesn't change. She doesn't change. She e makes no promises to change herself at the beginning of the film. Nope. So you get what you get with her. And I, th I just think she's she's excellent in it. So. Uh. Portal. Portal. Those things. Oh. Mm. 
Oh. Does that help me? Oh, I can get this. Oh, I can't quite get it. Damn it, Dev. <laughs> the character in that I can't stomach is the James Woods character because in retrospect you realize he's not acting. He's just that horrible like, human being. <laughs> is James Woods I've, a horrible human being? I've heard things. Oh, yeah. really? I, I, I have not heard these things, so. I've heard things. Oh, really? How do I get that up there? Oh, yeah. Like, I could push this to the top and it might reach, but then I can't get it Oh, you got a portal. Back. Do you have a portal yet? Ooh, I do. So I, oh, I can go back down. Okay. Uh, so you can get I don't in think there. That helps, but well, we got a portal set up. I'll go check it out. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. yeah. Can't quite can't get, get through there. Yeah. Mm. But if I push this to the top, I may light up the path to that. I but feel I, like. But then I something oh, is I, missing here. Oh. No, I think I do need to push that to the top. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there. There you go. And then I just need to trigger it to get to open that, push to put a pressure plate, then I can push it back down again. But now I have a Oh I see. Yes, yes. But yes. I have a, a light now, so it's okay. I need a key. There's the pressure plate. Oh. I have to break it to get Oh, do I have the pickaxe yet? No. Don't. Interesting. Ooh, there's the key. Okay. Oh, I can get there now. Right? Yeah, to the pickaxe? Yeah. Uh, no, to the key. Because I have a light. Ah. Huh? Now you can get to the pickaxe. Do, 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 Um. <laughs> now I do the uh, pressure plate. Right. Open that up. Pressure plate. Cyrano Ooh, says, I love that people tuning in now will have no idea this is a Jaguar stream. <laughs> no, the... Well... Like, what are you playing? <laughs> it does show on the screen Jaguar, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the cartridge. But that's the only hint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will be like, what is this? I guess yeah. not a typical Jaguar-looking game. So now I just need to portal up it Reminds to me here. of like an Apple game or something. Yes. Yeah. An 8-bit game. An 8-bit game. Yeah. And then I can push this back down now that that's open. And then. To the right? I remember going to the. Done that already. Right. Oh no, I have to push it down to. So that door is light open. Light that up at the bottom. Somewhere. Is that door open? Where's the thing that I need to light up? Well, oh, there it is. The door is open when I. So you have the pickaxe. So you, did you crack it open? Yes. Oh. Oh, it is open. There's the power plate. Oh, I just need the, to trigger the plate now. Well, the door is open, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh. Let me go back through here. And then I go here, and it should be open. There we go. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, Good job. Your turn. Portal Pac-Man. Never thought he was funny, and I think any person in power dating somebody, huge power imbalance is wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's... He's a terrible person in the film. He's abusive. Is is the it's the boyfriend of the of Oh yes, yes, Sharon yes, yes. Stone. I was like, who is he? And I'm like, yes, I almost forgot about that character. Yeah. The new boyfriend of her. No, what am I mixing up? What No Wait no 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 it's 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 her original boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, okay. But we're we're Yeah, yeah, okay. And he just leeches off of her. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Total scumbag. Terrible, yeah. terrible person. Yeah. 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 No redeeming qualities whatsoever, but no. she has some sort of affection for him. We don't know why. <laughs> and I, I don't think we're supposed to know. It's just they've had a long, long, long relationship. I don't see any stuff. How? How? What am I trying to get to? You don't have a portal gun. You do have a portal gun. I have a portal gun. So you can make your I way... Can portal around. You can slowly portal around. Uh, so it's more like a maze. It is. It's like, where are the but spots you, I want to be You can is shoot the question. in the dark. So don't forget that. You can, but... So you can portal over, but then you're stuck. Exactly. 
So this is a. So where am I trying to portal to? This is a. You can get up there. Definitely a puzzle. Jumping around. It's just annoying because you can't see anything. Like how? Wh where are there things to? To get. Am I just trying to get into the middle? Is that that yes. door is open? Yes. So that's the thing. So there's two portals that you can go to. So to I get can to go the door. like there. Well, can't you just do? Oh. So I could go there. But you can't go anywhere. Oh, I see. And then you can go over. And where else? There's up to up the, the right. top. I'm just gonna dance around. It's... Oh, that one closed. That's okay. What I should do is. Doing this all the wrong way. This is bad. Because <laughs> um, you did them in the wrong order? Well, I can't cancel them now. No. So now you're stuck with those two unless you can shoot another one. No, no, no. The two is fine. Actually, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. It's all good. It's all good, everyone. <laughs> it's just I have to go back and do this one. Because you did them. Because I did them kind of backwards. But ugh, that's okay. There's nothing here to go back and do this it's just annoying it's right it's, it's out of order it's entirely can i get around that corner no i cannot i can get there oh my god okay shoot down no i i know what i can do oh i can't it's so annoying it's doing everything backwards to what i want it to i have to go back <laughs> and do it yep Oh, good question, Fitoko. Which porting method was used? Is just the bitmaps and puzzles with new logic? Oh, can't read that. The mouse is over it. Oh, uh, mouse, get out of the way. <sighs> with new logic or the code was also used. Binary hack method. It's running the original code with a bunch of hooks. Ah, okay, I guess that was something like Farron does when he ports 2600 games to the Atari 8-bit line. Oh. Is that how Farron does it? Interesting. Okay. Excellent. Another... Oh. That's one you did. Get to the gate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. That's what happens when he doesn't know what to... Uh... Oh. You don't have a don't portal gun yet. <laughs> now now you have a portal gun. Oh. Is there? Stop dropping that. Nope. Nothing. No, you can't shoot that far. Nothing. So you have to cross through, but that'll destroy your portal, but you can recreate it anyway. Okay, what's over here? Pickaxe, and then there's something there, and then you can. Oh, but oh. I can't move it. But you can go back through the portal there if you need to. Just need another portal. Is there another portal? No. Uh. Okay. But that destroys the portal. That right? destroys the portal. So mm -hmm. if you cross through, you can shoot the portal back open, but Oh, I can shoot it from here. You can shoot it back. Yeah. Can you shoot it that way? No, I don't think so. No. Well, it's I blocking. can't get to it anyway. So then something so you're going to have to do something to the top here. Oh, here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, now I can push it. Now I should be able to shoot maybe something over there? Uh, nope. Nope, it's but you can block. go around it. Oh, now I can go around it with that. Excellent. Let's get all the stuffs. All the stuffs. All the stuffs. <laughs> um, okay, so I need that lit, which is probably this. But I think you might need yep. to let, light your way to the other side. So you're going to have oh. to shoot the portal from this side. Did that work? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. You can't go back across them. There you go. Oh. Need to open that. Now I can shoot that portal. Yep. And now I can... No. 
No. That's how you get back, I'm, I'm guessing. So that's lit. There's the door at the bottom, so you just need to get over to the other side now. Mm, interesting. I need to use a portal to get there, because that's the only way. Oh, you know what? I think you need to probably, you're probably going to have to drop the torch. Right. But then how? Mm, good question. Oh, you can, you just, you need to go back around. Oh, I know how you do it. Okay, uh. go back around. Leave, leave that, leave that there. Oh, no, you have to leave it behind. Oh, no, you don't. Um, okay, that's open. That's open. You can cross over that. Which will destroy that portal. That's fine. You yeah. can you can shoot it, can't you? You can shoot right oh, now I and can. left, and now you can get over there. Yeah. D-O-N-E. Nothing that's hard is worth doing. <laughs> Farron uses advanced magic. He's an L-20 mage. <laughs> um... There's how many levels in this? 36? We're almost there. We're getting there. Can't remember. What does it say? Portal. 35. Six more levels. Six more levels. Almost there. Where do I show up? Aha, uh -huh. that's where I show up. There's a portal gun. Did you want to quickly talk to somebody? I will have to. It's very late. It is. You want to play this? Okay. Yep. Quickly talk. They, they'll, yeah, they won't want to talk long anyway. So. Called twice already. So. <laughs> yeah, they're like, where, where are, are they? Oh, I already have the portal gun. Oh, she must have picked it up. Okay, so portal, portal. Portal, portal, portal. Portal, portal. Uh, let's go to that one. Get the pickaxe. Oh, what? Don't drop that. These. These things I can shoot. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Um, oh, can I shoot way down there? No. Let's see. Oh, I need to get out of this tiny little area. Oh, I have pickaxe. Let's just open this right up. There we go. Oh, this light's so tiny. Hopefully, oh, that is something I need to do, which there's tracks there. That means I need to light up. There's a hammer. I will need that. So let's portal into there. I can do it right from no. Where's a where's a portal? Where is a portal? Oh, light those up. Don't have that. Oh, is that one? Nope. Is there one? Oh, there's one here. There we go. Let's go here. Get the hammer. Um is there one down there I need to get? Let's just check this out first. No. That's not. Oh, did I screw myself? No. There we go. Okay, now the fixer. Can fix that up. There's a pressure plate. What is that thing? What? Is that track? How come I. What? It is track. Just like very short track. That's weird. I'm guessing I should move it by one. I don't know. That's super. Oh, you know what? It's so I can zap into that. That's why. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's over here. And then I can shoot down to drop this. Shoot down there. Oh no. Then it disintegrates it. Can I not shoot through all this? I can't. It blocks it. 
how am I supposed to keep that one a portal? Oh, I see. By going through this. Right? Oh, stop it. There we go. Then I shoot it. Then I go out. I go through this portal. Then I can do pressure plate, which opens up the door. Now I use these. Let's see. There's a portal there. Is that it? Oh, it's not open. So I need to light up. Where is the thing that I need to light up? It's up here. Okay. Now, is this big enough? Is this the one? It is. And then I'm done. All right? Done! Yay! Cyrano says, really great game and so engrossing. My hat is tipped to the level design. 100% level design makes this game. I mean, all these, all these things, too. Oh, why? Another maze. We're on level 30. We have... 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, so six, yeah. Um, I don't remember how much time it took me to complete this game in the Atari 8-bit. Yeah, we always said we we're going to go back to games, but oh my god, so many games we need to go back to. But this, we're actually solving it on the Jaguar. We started on the Atari 8-bit, and we're finishing on the Jaguar. Kind of cool, actually. That bloody maze again, if you're stuck or do not feel like solving the maze... What? take the hidden exit at the bottom right of the screen well that's just cheating we got to do it properly so there's an exit in the bottom right there's the easy exit interesting well, let's go okay so there's an easy exit but let's not take the easy exit because that's too easy that's like skipping the level Let's light our path. Let's investigate. Light the path. Don't have a... Oh, don't leave that behind. Um, so that's a portal there. Don't have the gun yet. I keep dropping my thing, thinking that I have a gun. Oh, good. It was short. It was short. <sighs> oh, there's a key. There's a pickaxe behind a wall that needs the pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, portal gun. Excellent. You Stop. probably don't need it then. <laughs> or there's another pickaxe. Um, oh, oh. So there's... Oh, this is a real maze. Nice. Yes. So oh. let's trigger the pressure plate at least once. We need to find our way... Oh, you can, get, you can get the pickaxe from the other side. See that plate? You can walk right over that oh, plate. Yeah, yeah. So you just need to get the portal gun, but it's going to be a one-way kind of thing probably. Oh, you can get there. Yeah, I just need to get back. So I didn't have the gun at, at first. So now that I do. <sighs> no, no, no. You need to get pickaxe. Oh, let's not do that again. Go down, go down. But there, there were portals before. So yeah, but I'm... no, no, no. But go to the left. Go to the left. Go up. Go up to the right. Oh. Oh. That's the one I want. Yeah, and then but it's going to trap me there, but that's okay. Uh, oopsie. There you go. One. One. <laughs> there's, a, there's a portal. There we go. And then you can... Oh. Pickaxe my way out. Nice. Now I have the pickaxe. Yeah. Now there were... There's the key something back here Nita. that was behind the wall. <coughs> there's actually an easy path that you can just skip this whole level mm. yeah the togo says oh i remember this level it's not obvious but it can be solved without using the panic exit there's a panic exit <laughs> yeah there is okay there's a key yeah so now i just need to get oh can i get to there. that one yeah you can i think good go back out or do i oh yeah i do <laughs> yeah there's nowhere else to go i don't think so now i have the key but i haven't seen a door it's got to be it's pointing that way 
No, no, no. That's an easy exit. Oh, like you easy can skip exit. this level if you want. What? To. No, that's cheating. Oh, you you didn't like that one down there. Oh, so there's a brazier. Brazier. What a Brazier. strange name. Why is there two English is silly. <laughs> two things called brassiers. They're very different. <laughs> um, okay. I guess a brassier looks like it would hold a boob. Is maybe that's <laughs> where the shape. Maybe. Maybe it's more about the <laughs> shape. shape. Oh, okay. Can I get? Oh, I can get to this one. Oh, you can go to the top. Can't you? There no. There we go. That's new. There's nowhere to go. But I lit that. Mm. Okay, no, that's open, but how do I get there? That was where the key... That's... Oh, it was where the key was. Yeah. Or... Oops. Oh, I see. Oh, there's the key. There's the thing There's for the, the door. Key. Yeah. Okay, so you have the key, so you just need to find your way to that upper part. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's through a portal. Oh, you have to break that. Oh, you have to oh, get to that portal. Now I can do it. So you just need portal to portal. Okay. Just need a portal somewhere. Oh, that's the one over here. Uh, oh, the there you open. go. Hooray, that's now it. I have the pickaxe. Now you can get through there. And, and there. And, oh, there's the door. With the key, and we are done. Yeah! Not the easy route. Okay, your turn. Either, inappropriately putting your hand in either type will get you burnt. There's yes. there's the connection. There is the connection. That's what we're looking for. Right there. All right. There's <clears> the pickaxe. <throat> so we saw right. Taylor Tomlinson. Oh, she was funny. In L.A. Taylor Tomlinson has a show. Now it's termed it a late night show because she has guests on. But it's in the form of a fake like a game show. game show but it's fake because everything is written down beforehand i don't think it's funny <laughs> the game I show i don't get it yeah the the, the, the premise of it or i, get, I haven't really I get, watched i get the whole it. thing i just don't understand where the funniness is because it's supposed to be impromptu but it's not impromptu all these things are written out but they're not good enough to be written out they're written as if they were impromptu jokes based on prompt um for lack of a better word darcy is trying to convince me oh no give it another chance and i did and it's like this is the same thing i watched before <laughs> i think taylor thompson is very very funny i don't think the show is funny ah i really want it to be funny because there's a whole show with one of my favorite comedians but uh, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Something I'm missing. Fro prompt to. I don't know if anybody else has seen that. What is it called? I can't remember what it's called. But I just. I have not. Have you watched it? I haven't really watched a full one. I was kind of met on it, so. Me too. I it's it's actually super cringe for me. I can't even watch it. It's not, <laughs> it's not that it's unfunny. It's like, oh, I can't watch this. I just can't way. watch this. I think I can make it through that. Uh, if I go, if I go doop. Yeah, and you get the pickaxe and you get out of there by just walking through. There you go. And I can get this back. <laughs> so, what am I doing? This, this, that's. I don't have a key, do I? No. You need that key. Uh, I need a key. Need There's a key, a key at the, the bottom, key. but I need the oil. Hmm. This is But the oil's behind the key. Where's the other key? There's no other way in. Oh, there's the key. So there's one That's key. A, beyond, but that key gets you up there, but I need more light. To step light. on a pressure plate. What? No. Well, there's a pressure plate. Just go step on it. Oh, no, I can step on the pressure. Oh, I can now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. And it's lit. No, no, I've been in there already. I've been in there. Then that doesn't that? get me in. Oh, that door doesn't get you in? No. Oh, okay. I have to go down and around. Pre-written, spontaneous mm. jokes like Hollywood Squares and every other celebrity panel show talking about current event celebrities. I, yeah, I like celebrity uh, Hollywood Squares, though. I think it's the jokes. I think the Hollywood Squares jokes were funny. But the jokes on that show, I don't find them funny. So I think that's the downfall, because obviously Hollywood Squares is exactly the same. 
Oh no. Maybe I, I just have to watch more of them. <laughs> I think that might be it. Well, you need a um, repair hammer too. What what is in that room behind that um, door that has a pressure plate? And why don't no, have you been in no, there? No, I need the oil. Uh, okay. You need the key to get in there. You don't have a key. There's a key in there. Uh, but there's no. Hmm. What's behind that door? What I need to do is this. Okay. So Ooh. then the question becomes. Where is there a portal that I can use? There's one at the bottom there. I don't know if that helps you at all. The only one I see is... Is there one in there? That doesn't That's where you started, right? And then that bottom one... Can that I go doesn't... back through that? Yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can. Oh, but then I'm screwed at the top. Uh, no. You have I am. No, no, no. Oh. Yes, I am. How do you get your torch in there? Can I get there oh, without my open. torch? It is open. Okay, yeah, 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 never yeah, mind. Yeah. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have to leave my torch here. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, yes. Well, that doesn't matter. Where yes, it torch. does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'll get trapped because once I go through there, I can't get back out. No, the door will be open. No, I will get trapped when I, I, I need... Oh, no. Because there's a key, and you open the door, and then you're... Yeah. No, but then I can't get out. I'm trapped by Thank the darkness. Following. I'm trapped by the darkness oh, if I don't leave my torch there. Okay. So I have to do this. I have to go through here, get the key, open, open the, door. the door. Get your torch. Which is sort of the op. Yeah, now I have a bigger torch. Now, yeah. I think... Oh, there. Yeah. Now you can push that. And get the key. And do you have a repair? No, you don't have a hammer. Where's oh. the hammer? Do I have a hammer? No. No. <coughs> what's, okay. What's behind that door? Maybe I still need to. <coughs> okay, now I'm having a problem. You play. I can <coughs> finally find out what's behind that door. Nothing. There's nothing there. But there's the key. And you need to push that over. Where is the hammer? Where is the hammer? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh. Not quite. There we go. Oh. Now I have to do the pressure plate. And back over here. Oh, one more. Fix this up. Move this along. Get the key. Move this back. Get on out of there. Open that door over there. I think. Right? It's the only door left. Oh, there's the thing to light up. Now, can I get out all the way to the... Where is the exit? Is there a path all the way? I think there is. I think there's a path all the way to the door. Da-da-da! <laughs> Binaries. Haplos and the source, but I didn't use them much. Reading other people's source is confusing. The binary doesn't lie. That is hilarious. Third two, third three, third four, third five. Four more levels to go, everyone. We are almost there. Is the door open? Light that up. That's broken, which we need to move up so we can shoot, get the portal, get another light. I uh, need a um, pickaxe to get the portal gun. So there's the pickaxe, which we can get. Did you take my seat? And then we can go get it portal gun over here. Did you figure it out? Oh yeah. Easy. Easy? 
Actually, it didn't take that long. No, there wasn't much left to do, I don't think. Then we go in here. That's broken. There we go. Oh, oh, I don't have a yet. I need the fixer. Do I have a key? Nope, I need a key. Smash. Um, do you have a portal then? I do now. Very nice. That's a pressure plate. I need a portal. I haven't found a portal. That's a door, but I don't have the pressure plate yet. Huh. Um, where's another portal? Don't have a key. Oh, oh. oh, there's one. There we go. Stepped on the pressure plate, which opened up. What? <gasps> oh. I don't think I need it anymore. Open up that, which gives me another light. Let's see what's down here. Okay. I'll need to do something down there later. There's a portal. So there's a portal. We need to do that. But you would drop your light to go through that portal. So yeah. you probably need it. What am I aiming to do now? What do I need? <laughs> I need a key. Where's the key? Where are you, key? I, I looked everywhere. Where's the key? Down there? No. There's there's a light there. Might be there somewhere. Oh. Like in behind, right in the corner there. Uh, so so there's a pressure plate there. Oh. Okay. So. You need oh I. Portal to there. And then a portal th through there. But you don't have a light there, That's so you're okay. screwed. Oh. So I need a light. Oh, right. pressure plate, which opens up that, which gives me the light, then I go down, get the key, get out again, and I need to do pressure plate again. Ah. Because I've done that part. Now I can open up this, get the hammer. That's the door. Yeah. And then you need to drop a light. On. Oh, no, I can. I need oh. the pressure plate again to move that thing up. So I need to go back again. What? The pressure plate? You can do the pressure plate from that side. Can't you? No. I have to go through this portal every time I need to do it. There's the no plate. other portal? That's the only portal? Uh, yes. Oh, how do I get out? Oh, no. That's what I'm saying. You have to do it All from right. the other side. Right. Are you okay? Oh, snorty cat. There must be a portal out here, then. Yeah. You got in there before. Oh, there's one. <laughs> so many. Uh, nope. You're in the wrong place. You, oh. You, you have to set the portal up over there first. Oh. Around the left, there. There you go. Right. There you go. Now you go back through. Right. Now. Now what was I doing? Oh, it was over here. So now I, push I this think up. you have to. Do you think you have to make? To fix that. To push, push that up. Push this up. So and, and do you have to move the light? Then I have to move the light somewhere. Oh no! But there's two lights in there. Do you, Why do I need two lights? Do you need to adjust them? Oh, to just have another light. Like, just in general. Well, you only have one light. Yeah, I, I think I you have to place to, one light. You have to place so you can walk over. Where's the thing I need to light up? Oh, 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 you should have done I that. I know, I should have done that. Where's the light thing I need to light okay. up? Okay. Where is it? It's, it's on the far, far. Oh. No, you keep going. I don't know why you keep going there. So it's through here. Ah. But, um, so you, I think you, oh my God, what a mess. I think you need a path. Well, first of all, let's get back to this thing. And, uh... 
So that door is closed. This one's open. Let's go investigate this yeah. thing again. Um, and so that's there. I think you need a path. I need to light that with something. And it's the second one. I need to get a second one out. So when I was in there, I should have... Was there a portal in there? Anywhere? Yeah, there's one right there. I'll just... I need to light... I need to shoot it. No, is there a portal in that space that you just ran through? Uh, I know what I do. I need to do. Okay. As long as you know. Yeah. Um, and I need to flip the... Uh, oops. I need to flip this first. so I can get two of them. Well, that makes sense. I'll just slowly make my way over here and light this up from in there. Oh, I see. No, just, um, uh, just oh. move them. Move them over to the left. You can, get, you can get at it through the bottom. Oh, right. You just can't see it. I think I need to flip that again. No, I, James, I, what? I think you need to drop one of those by the exit there. You just need somewhere by the exit there. No, just leave one there. Okay. Right. I will. And then grab the other one. Uh, you, no, you need a, you need one by the exit. Drop it where it is. Yeah. Pick up that one. Yeah. So now you need to go back through and around. So you're going to have to oh, flip that. Through a portal. So you're going to have to go, yeah, you, you're going to have to open that, go back around, drop that by the thing, and then come out the door and grab that one. Does that make sense? No. Okay, okay, go back. Now go back up and around. Up and around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah, drop yeah. it, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. go out. And now now you have a light. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I mean. You need a path back. That's right. what I was trying to say. And then you just walk through. Yeah. Yeah. It's harder. Clear as mud. Tanya's, <laughs> Tanya's right. Yeah. Screenshot that and print it out. Tanya's right. It is my birthday, so I do get... I, uh, Special <laughs> that's, consideration. That seems, yeah, thank you. That was awesome. We're doing 33? 35? Yep. All Three right. more. Three more. Too much fun. Yep. Too much fun. Too much fun. All right. What do we got? That is Luckily, there. this game, once you get a handle on it, you go, I need that for that, for that, for that. And then you go, how do I get that? And then you go backwards. Yeah. Work your way back again. You are correct. Lighting everything yeah. you can see. All right. So there's a portal in there. There's a portal in there. There's a path in there. That's what needs to get lit up somehow. There's a portal down there. Yeah. I don't have a portal gun yet, do I? No, I don't see I where do it is not. yet. I don't, oh, there needs to go. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. And there's a switch. So. Oh, you walk through that Z and then push that. Yeah. Off. Yeah, I think you're correct. So I guess I would just. Z or N. Depends what direction it's facing. Let's see what, oh, that's And the bottom blocks. one too. Oh, there you go. It's revealed. Oh, I can exit wait. out. Oh, portal out. Um. Oh, that way you can bring your torch in there. If you find a portal out there. Ooh, I think I need to portal. It's easier in. than we're making it. Yeah, usually it is, but you have to work your brain around it. Okay, hold on. There's a portal right in the left, uh, on the left hand side over there. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Oh, you can get the pickaxe. Oh, that's handy. That wasn't what I was going for, but. I know. <laughs> ha ha! Ha ha ha! Alright. <laughs> um. So I got the pickaxe. I need a pressure plate and get the hammer. Yeah. I think you need to teleport so into there. 
I need, where is the pressure plate? It's down here? Uh, I don't know yet. Oh, there it is in the right hand side. There you go. So, do, do, do. Oof. You can just walk through and get it. Huh? I can't. Oh, yeah. there! Oh, yes, you're right. Sorry. There's no need to portal in there. I think that's a red herring. I think you're right. <clears throat> Unless I'm trying to. Yeah. Cyrano says the source code for these games are actually clean and clear. Uh, very clean and clear. It would be pretty simple to pick up and move to another 68k pay, uh, base system. Oh, very nice. Let's see what else is in here. Nothing. Pressure plate. Then you, oh. can, then you can get in there. Oops. get the key so I can just I just need oof hmm. uh, there yep just enough I don't know where the door is oh there's a door down there One tile uh, room. So you have to move both. Oh things no! Back. Yeah, or at least the bottom one. I don't know yeah. if I can move it at least all the bottom the way one. back. <laughs> tricky, tricky. Always. Yeah, late for that area. Nice. Guessing you do. Yeah. So. Oh, to light to get to the exit, you need it. So you need to do the pressure plate, which is right over there. That's an easy one. I feel like I need to move that stupid thing back, though. Probably. Yeah. Did you do the pressure plate? No. Doesn't matter. What? Why aren't you oiling up your mad your torch right now? I can't. Oh. Yeah, you press your plate and go through that door and, and increase your size. Let me do this. Hoping I don't have to go back. It's this one I want to oil, right? Uh, is it only applied to one? Yeah. Oh. It has to be this one, anyway. Or, or I can go that way, too. Huh. Mm. No, I can't. I, I don't think I can. Anyway. Okay. So now... There you go. Now it's lit. Now you can go. You can just do can it. Can I get out? Yep. Do it. Excellent. Get out of there. Duh! 
done. Sorry, that always takes too long. <laughs> oh, good night, Chester and Mel. Good night. Two more levels. Oh, it says right in the screen, only two more to go. <laughs> We're running out of descriptors. Okay, there's the exit. There's only one way. There's only one thing to do. I like it when there's only one thing to do. Exit. Do you Easy have light? to do. No. Okay, we know where that is. Yep. Oh, I need broken to track. Fix it. There's a key. Can you access the key? No. Uh. In the top left there. If you no. move, no. Like you can't move that to the point where you can get over there. No, no, no it's a, it's broken. Okay, there you can go. <coughs> no, I need a pressure plate for that. Oh, you can get if you can. Oh, you don't have a portal gun yet. Okay, the portal gun's at the top. Uh, what? So you need that. You need to find a oh, pressure plate. Oh, there was a pressure plate, wasn't there? Oh, was that a pressure plate at the bottom? Oh, I keep thinking. No, that's the trigger. Oh. What was the other one down? Uh, think, is that a pressure plate? I think it was. Was it round? Stop it. There you go. Open. Go um, now, where was it? Down. <laughs> go down. There you go. Hammer. There you go. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it. <clears throat> Nothing. Fixed. And then go up. Oh, I think you have to go up and around. Um, yeah, there is a portal, so you probably have to bring it all the way left, up and around. Or the big one. Ooh, careful. Oh, no, not the little one. I thought oh, you wanted the big one. Is there a big one? one? That, that's a bigger one on, the, oh. on your right. Well, you don't have to push it back. Oh, doesn't matter. This one I need it to has to more left. light. Oh, okay. Yes, Those are usually, and then you have to fix at the top. Uh, Just, I know it's very sensitive. Let's check out what's over here first. Get the key. Oh, I bet if you go take it to the top, you can get the gun and ooh, barely. Maybe you need the little one. Oh, to light up the left-hand side, too? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. It's hard to say. A little one at the top. Oh, my God. That's weird. Uh, but maybe see if you can get the portal gun first. Uh, oh, with... Oh. With the big one? Possibly? Yep. Did I screw myself? Mm. No, no, you didn't. And, and shoot down. Go, oh. go around. Shoot down. There you go. And now you have a light. Oh. There you oh. go. <laughs> oh, nice. That helps. <laughs> that helps a lot. I can just walk around. Um, but I need to put that. Maybe the light here and this up here. And the light. No, that's not enough. I don't have a light. Is there Let's oil look somewhere? Oh, it's a one way. Ooh, but I can keep my light. Can you? Right? No. You would have to drop it to get through the end, but. There might be another exit or a portal out. Oh, I don't think so. I don't have a key yet. That's to the door. What does the key yes. get you? See, I can take that portal out if there is a portal in there. I don't, I don't think don't there is. I don't know if there is one. I don't think there is. Tanya's big fat brain always slowing down the gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> uh, oh, where's the door? So the door gets you to the door. So you need the key for that door at the top. Oh, to get out. Yeah. yeah. And then what else do you need? You need to trigger the light. The switch light thing. Um, oh, down here. That's that's an easy yeah. one. Yeah. So the question is, is how do you get to the key? Well, this may be just like the end, and I just get in there, right? 
and just like oh no I can't I can't even well, get to the key or can you from, okay no no here from can. here you can you just have to get out the door so if you move that there right that will get me out the door that would get you out that door and then yeah. can you push the brazier around to get up um grab just look over to the left here so how do you get up 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 how do you get to that door well i get the key <clears throat> it probably lets me out no, no, but you have to get there if you have to drop your torch. So it should be okay. I think I, the brazier would get in. you there. Right, go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get the key, and you have to drop the torch. Right, so you can go through there, but then you have to drop the torch before the end. Right. <laughs> when I've done that, I think you want to expose as much of the. Um, pathway as possible oh, like there that. yeah and then you have to hope that gets you out and it I don't think it will or maybe no you can't move the little one can you I can I just have to move this over to the little one uh, if you move that to the top the big one to the top back yeah it still doesn't get you out does it you can't get back through. Boo. So that was not what you needed to. Uh. But that's the thing. It's like you have to get back up and around. So it's open now, but I don't think you can get out. No. I can't. Sorry. I mean, you missing one piece. What, monkeys? <laughs> what? Oh, you broke it. Yeah, I had to. There's, no, there's nowhere else to go. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Oh, yeah, I have to go trigger this down here. So, and then I move this over here. Then I get this. And you can fix all this stuff. And I fix it. And then that's the big one. Oh. You can move that out of the way. Move it down, actually. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Not yet. <laughs> I have to keep moving this one, the big, big one, over with it. Stop it! And then you zap down and zap to the side. Yeah. Right. And now you get that, pick it up, and go back up, and then you're good to go. So then, yeah. So then the question is, is where you place things so you can get back out that door because you can get yeah. through that door once you have the key. That is the question. There's no oil anywhere, is there? Not that I've seen so no. far. Let me just look around some more. There's just that. Oh, there is oil. Oh my goodness. That's the trigger plate? Yeah, that's it. There you go. That's what was missing. That's the big key. Yeah. This is how you do it. Yeah, so you do need... Like that. Is it there? Okay, what? So, okay, so you need to move the big, move the little brazier to trigger, trigger the door. Is that the little one? Yeah. Yeah. So, over and down. And then move the big one. To the left. Does that get you through? Or is it here? Does that illuminate it? I think you need... Does it? No. I think... So I need to get through there. So if you move the big brazier down to the bottom, to the left, there, 
That gets you in. And then if you leave the... Can you leave that there so there. you can pick it back up? There. Yes. I can. Yeah. So that's what you want to do. Nice. That's why that little yep. cutout's there. And then you get that. And then boop. Boop. And then pick that up. Da, da, da. And then you can... I can get through there. There a door. And then you should be able to get out. Oh, that only took all of our brain power combined. And Tanya gets the last, last level. Oh, I hope I can get it. Tanya's right again, Patoka. <laughs> she's that's why she's on puzzle day. Yeah, I love puzzle day. <laughs> uh, okay. If she wasn't on puzzle day, Darcy and Erlen and me would just be like staring at the screen forever and ever. <laughs> First of all, that's not true. Uh, Just be drooling looking at the screen. This is the hardest one. <laughs> Get back. Should be the hardest one. Sometimes game uh, designers don't put them in order of hardest. Well, Sometimes it goes in waves of hard and then easy. Oh, I can't get through that. Oh, I can't get oh. past that. What is that? Maybe you need something to get past I it. So. I've been through it before. Oh, I'm dead now. Are you? Yeah. Okay, well that's no good. I don't. I thought you just crossed over that. I did before. Uh, let's try that. But yeah. maybe you right need at the beginning. one of those items to get over it. I guess so. Hmm. You definitely need something to get over it because there's a light there. <clears throat> Miss the Lou says, "I have a conspiracy theory that the Tenebra games are." Uh, Government developed Mensa tests designed to find the brightest of us for the <laughs> underground bunkers when the apocalypse starts. It's very clear that I will be not joining you down there. <clears throat> Isn't that the uh, premise to The Last Starfighter? What is? Um, I have not seen the movie, which is unforgivable. But um, the government designed an arcade game Oh, yes, yes. To find the best pilot. Yes. To fight against aliens. Yes. Right? Isn't that the premise of The Last Starfighter? <clears throat> or am I crazy? I mean, I haven't seen the movie, but... You should. It's a bit of hilarious. Okay, okay. There, there's, there's gaps in my movie knowledge. Um, I've seen a lot of movies. Starfighter is a dear, nostalgic childhood memory, which means I should not watch it. Because <laughs> usually kids' movies from, like, the 70s or 80s, you go back and watch them, and they're like, they're like, what is, what is all this? <laughs> this is bad. But I think that usually applies to TV shows only. And not as much movies, but TV shows do not go back and watch TV shows. They're usually just terrible. Yep. The movies I find hold up pretty good, like um, kids' movies, more or less. I'm feeling I'm be restarting this game an awful <laughs> lot. Yeah, this one's a lot. Has throws everything at you. Oh my gosh! This is already. I'm already ending up in situations. They'll so. need music down there. You'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, we're currently watching Amazing Stories, and it's clear it would have been awesome if we watched it kids, but nowadays it's not. Yeah, see, that's the problem. TV shows, mm, yeah, do not hold up very well. Just what you just walked over a trigger plate. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's the whole point. Looks like trying you're doing to figure good. out. Well, I'm trying to figure out what is where. Mmm. That's a big part of this because oh half of it's dark all the time. So you're like, oh, what am I affecting? What areas should I shoot for the portals? This one has a lot of portals. So if I go back through here, trigger that, and then go through this way, then that is now open. And then... I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. 
exploring pretty much right now. Ah, key. See a hidden so key. Hidden key. Oh, everything's hidden. It's like <laughs> everything here. It's like I don't know what's gonna. So that that is. I need to dig through that. So everything kind of goes back to the middle. Glad you're doing this level. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> if you watch them as a kid and have nostalgia, rewatch them could be fine. I watched Chips, Knight Rider, Dukes of Hazzard, Brady Bunch, Three's Company as an adult and still love them. Ooh. Which ones have I seen? I've seen Three's Company since. That one's just like, talk to each other. That's, that would solve everything with Three's Company. And, um... A lot of cringy gay panic in that show nowadays. Um, I haven't seen Chips or Knight Rider or Dukes of Hazard since. Um, I haven't seen Brady Bunch in a while, but I think that's just like lighthearted comedy, so I think that'll hold up just fine. Ha ha! Yes. You did it? So. Yay! Um. Are you to finish the level? No, you didn't no, finish no, the level. No, oh. No. Um, oh, I see. If you haven't seen it, equally goofy, capitalizing the video game craze, Cloak and Dagger. I haven't seen Cloak and Dagger for all the talk that people talk about Cloak and Dagger, and it features 5200. What is that 5, thing? That's what I'm confused. You were able to walk over it before. I don't know. I just ran over it. It was like right at the end of the level, and like, I must have had everything I needed to run over it. And you're missing two things. No, I still can't get it weird so i i mean i can i can get out of this what else is left well, that you're missing so there's definitely i tried some of those old series with my kids and i had to abort i they didn't like them well that's another danger to, oh pickaxe maybe you need a pickaxe oh that's what it is i think it's pickaxe i think you're right and it's like okay, rock so... you need to get through dad the edges of the picture are missing uh <laughs> Oh man, people, people who don't watch 4x3 stuff or black and white stuff, uh, it's such a shame. I mean, granted, movies in like the 50s and before, they have a different type of acting. So I can see why people would be like, oh, this is weird and terrible. And 50s is kind of where the change happened for me. Some, some earlier movies are pretty good. Um, but it, oh, actually, I think it's just like the sixties. It changed when, uh, more independent filmmakers could, could start making films, but there's a certain feel to fifties and earlier movies with the way they talked, the way they acted. It was very stagey because that's, it wasn't that far removed from the stage and it was bigger than life. Um, episode of Amazing Stories we saw yesterday was a very young Kevin Costner and Kiefer Sutherland. Definitely would have been great if we had a relation with it, but because we didn't, it was mostly became a reminder that the good old days were long ago. Miss the Lucid. Movies from the 40s, 50s, and 60s work differently. I like those old movies for some reason. I think it's because the tempo was always slower. Yeah, I mean, I watch really long movies i don't mind slow tempo but some people are just like if it's not lights flashing in front of my eyes then oh you don't have the fixy thing yeah no do i need it lights going like this and explosions people just go oh it's so boring and those are people who don't watch dramas um oh i can smell that cat pee bush the cat pee bush it's a tree though right it is or or is it a bush because some bushes look like trees when they get big enough at night it really flares up stank it's so bad uh, you can smell it right yeah your nose nose clogged yeah it's so bad Ugh. it smells like a cat took a pee on the carpet and it just sat there and it's still really strong oh, every year it's summertime you have to keep the windows open now because it's so cold so warm my younger kid says how bad the green screen was mm, yeah 
or rear projection back then. It's like, yeah, you can see it. Even when they do risky action. Oh, I can't see. Move the mouse. Erg. Risky action double scenes like the ones in the Dukes of Hazard. What gets me, even in modern films, is when the stunt actors are like rolling down the stairs and they roll like this with their hand in front of their face. It irks me, but I know... Oh, you got the repair. Nice. No, it's just triggering. But I know why they do it, because they have to. It's a, a stunt, stunt person. <laughs> they can't, you can't... If you saw their face... I like, think, what haven't I done yet? That's I've not been that all person. through here. Right. It's 40s, 50 movies, more like stage shows. There's no natural <coughs> flow. Right. And a lot were sets, too. Like set pieces for those movies. It's not a lot of outdoor shots. And if it is an outdoor movie, it's like this big epic, epic film. For me, it's just all... Ooh light that up somehow need to get a light in there huh. is there a That's portal the in there that I'm missing is there a portal in there how do I get back oh you can light it from the outside don't need to light it in there yes oh okay I figured it out yeah, okay that's fine okay Gotta get it in there somehow. But there's no portal in that side or that side? And you can't really even walk in there because you have no torch. How do you get it in there? Can you so go like, down to the bottom from there? Sorry? Um. So, I can go in here, but I can't keep a portal. Oh, can you drop <coughs> it there? Okay, so you can drop a torch there. But I need a path back. Yeah. So... Is there two torches? No, there's just... there's. You still haven't got that one. And you have a pickaxe now. Can I drop it? You need to get that second one. Where's... The, oh, and you have a way that's to get what I'm missing. Yeah. Okay. I was rewatching uh, Double Down says I was rewatching Beverly Hills Cop the other day, and now on a large high def TV, the stuntman playing Axel Foley, throwing Zach over the buff buffet table, looks a lot more like Richard Pryor than Eddie Murphy. Yeah, that's. I mean, if you watch movies on the big screen back then, you would see those things as well. Watching them at home on TV, you wouldn't see that because you know, standard def tiny televisions. So they're really wasn't an excuse for that. That's just like bad filmmaking. Oh, you left your torch. You oh. get it. You dropped it. I'm sure you didn't do that on purpose. No, you dropped it. Okay, so... Now you have two. Now you have an extra one, so you can do your thing. Gonna bring them both over there bit by bit, maybe? I... Yeah, the stunt double thing, it's like, yeah. It, in a lot of movies, you have to forgive little indiscretions. I mean, watching a lot of Scorsese movies, he... cuts for emotion, and there's a lot of... Um mistakes where people are things are all in one spot or the other there you go now it's lit and you have another one yay is there a path to the exit that you know yep excellent i'd rather watch a stunt double than a cg face yeah. oh 
can't quite. Oh, there you go. Level 35. Press the button to the congratulations. Fin. 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 Woo. <clears throat> Good job. Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday to me! <laughs> Good job! Like the level I'm 35. That's right. That's right. It's her, <laughs> her definitive age. Forever right. and ever. Forever 35. and ever. 35. Correct. <laughs> Congratulations! Mm -hmm. Is somebody going to trigger it? Or should I trigger it? Ah, oh, that was so much fun. Thank you! Best game ever to play on my birthday. Congratulations! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Puzzle game, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Vitoko! Really great game. Uh, it's awesome, Cyrano, that you brought it to the Jaguar. Yes. I don't know how many um, puzzle games there are like this on the Jaguar, but um, it's great that they are now available yeah. on this. Um, I don't know if you're planning on releasing a cartridge of this, but maybe you could put both of them on one cartridge. Ooh, that would that be That would a give a lot header. of levels. Yeah. That would give a lot of levels. So much fun. Oh, happy birthday, Vitoko, Sunday. Yeah. Lots of, two. Lots, of, lots of Geminis around. <laughs> That's excellent. Great, oh. great game. Oh, that was so much fun. Uh, did you have fun? I did. Yeah. I, the best I, way to, to that is a great spend a birthday. Puzzle game. Yeah. It's really, really good. <laughs> So let's see what's coming up. There's some cool things coming up. Um, okay, let's switch over to the schedule. We have to we have to set aside some time to do some more seven eight hundred games because they've been languishing. Languishing, all right. Fortieth anniversary, which is that's fair. Still the right year. So yeah, it's still as long the right as we year. We get it done in this year. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, twenty right. more. Eighty eight. Twenty plus nineteen more. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's but true. on this Friday with Darcy, yeah, we have a plus cart special, and it is special. Nice. Not going to reveal yet, but it's very but special. I, but I will reveal what it is before Friday. Okay. And anyone who owns a plus cart, or is thinking about getting a plus cart or an Uno cart for their twenty six hundred. Um, I think they will might want to uh, watch this or maybe buy one if they haven't bought one. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to be having live interviews with uh, Wolfgang Stubig, Al Nefer, uh, and Marco Johannes, Marco J. And we're also having the exclusive world premiere of Mattress Monkeys, which plays on the Uno cart slash plus cart only. Um, and emulator, of course. Um, so that's going to be... Uh, early show on Friday so tune in then um, then uh, we got some random things that might move around and then on July 5th which is an early show mm -hmm. we have an exclusive work in progress update of Burning in the Tower of Doom it's Ooh. a puzzle game but you won't be here for it oh. Unfortunately, it has to be an early because the developer is in the UK. That's fun. And um, that's fun. Yeah. That's exciting. That'll be um, a good show. Yeah, Muddy Vision would like to watch. Lewis wants to watch. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> His game being played. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but on the, the day after, uh, the show after, which is an evening show, which will be here, yeah. we have Developer Spotlight on Steve Engelhart, oh, Atarius Maximus. Nice. Very prolific. We're going to be just. Boom, 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 through the games really, really quick. He has tons and tons of games. We'll be talking with him live and uh, doing retrospective on all his games that he's developed. Nice. So that is going to be very exciting. That is on July 9th. And that's a Tuesday. And I put schedule out to the end of July here. Excellent. Um, still waiting on a secret homebrew. Still waiting on the secret homebrew. All right, all right. I don't know when that is yet. <clears throat> gonna let John, you know, finish up the homebrew. Not mm -hmm. gonna poke him. He knows. Yep. That's what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, developer spotlight on Lawrence Stavely reboot, whose games we played today. Oh, so good. Um, so sometime good. in the future, it's gonna be before PRGE. Okay. That. Okay. Cool. Um, but it's no super rush, so that's all good. And uh, developer spotlight later in the year on Chris Walton. 
as well I would like to do. And he said, yes, we'll do one. Okay, good. Um, at some point. But good, just good, no good. rush on those. Yeah. I like Cyrano's thanks, playtesting complete. <laughs> yeah, another yep, made part it all two. the way through. <laughs> I only found one thing, but it probably exists in the original game. Yeah. It's where you could walk through a wall. That oh, you, that little not wall. Not through a wall. You can walk into a wall. Yeah. But it doesn't give you any advantage. But it doesn't change anything in the game. So you so. can't do anything more yeah. than you couldn't if you couldn't walk yeah. into it. And Dan, happy birthday one. to you too. Oh, happy birthday, Another Dan. Another June baby. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, was that off the screen the whole time? That doesn't matter. What was off the what? I announced it. Oh, just the schedule. I don't know if I put it on the screen. Oh, you know, you didn't. That's okay. Uh, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I read it out. Um, I think that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in. Um, pretty long show, actually. <laughs> Three and a half hours. Well, it was, it, that's the thing with puzzle games. You get lost in them. It was, it was kind of after darkish, but also not after. It was a combo show. <laughs> we wanted show to finish them, so. Because they're new games. Yeah. But they're games we started on another console and, we wanted and to finished finish. on this one, but they're yeah. new games for this console. So it was after darkish, but also new. So yeah. It was fun. So thanks for tuning welcome. in. Uh, Dan, uh, Cyrano J, thank you for uh, letting us play oh, these so games much fun. and making these games. Awesome. Or. or porting over the games to the Jaguar. It's great that people with Jaguars and not Atari 8-bits will not be able to play them. Uh, Vitoko, Chitlitla, BR Pocock. Uh, Miss Baloo. I clicked the link in the notification link thinking I would watch the video and then you're still at it. <laughs> it's not yes. posted yet. We're still going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Always love to showcase the Jaguar. It's such a interesting yeah. console and obviously invested heavily in now with this yeah. crazy double down joystick the and beautiful all yeah. the beautiful double down oh joysticks. thank you mr lou that's very generous of you uh chitla double down thank you so much double down for tanya's oh amazing my birthday, present. birthday gift i can't Look wait for us to use it I'm on so an excited. actual show yes on a 7800 8-bit yes. or 2600 show mm -hmm. it's very versatile yes. you're not allowed to use it by the way I have to use eight-way joysticks? Yes. That's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, uh, no, you can use it. I'll oh, let you. Thank I'll let you. you. Bear Pocock. <laughs> uh, who else? Chastony Mouth. Said all these names. These are the hardcore people hanging on. Atari 1974. Yeah. Uh, who else? Um, yeah. Rendered Ghost. 8-Bit Poet. Who else? Me? Oh, Miss Command. Miss Command. Double Meets Co. First time chatter. Welcome Love to the it. show. And everybody else who was uh, lurking the whole time. Oh, and Elf Elnifer. But I only read the names that are on the chat. Yeah. I can't remember. They do eventually they fall off the edge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Scroll off the edge. Take her joystick and go home. Yeah. Oh, done. Mine. And you're home. <laughs> there you go. And uh, so we'll be back on Friday with a very special show. It will be announced what it actually is happening, and you will be very impressed. <laughs> um, and uh, so we'll see you then. So have a great week, everyone. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night.